G'day and welcome into my new campaign playing as the R Arda Naim uh, in Divide and Conquer Total War mod for Medieval 2. Now the Arda Naim are a horde start so we can go wherever we wish and where we wish is to sail. Sail, 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 all the way up to Mythlond. That's where we wish to go. Uh, up into the, the wealthy north. Lots of dwarves up there, hobbits, uh, elves, men, orcs even. It's going to be it's gonna be lots of fun up in the north. So that is where we're heading to. Infantry focused, uh, very, very limited cavalry recruitment. In fact, the only cav unit that is naturally in our roster are the Royal Knights, and they are very pretty, they're pretty hard to get. Uh, everything else will be through the subjugation system, where we can get cav through that. Uh, that also means we need human settlements, basically, uh, to get that. Elven and Dwarven settlements won't give us any uh, any subjugation options, I don't believe, anyway. Let's have a read. Our leader is R. Gimelcad. The heir is Lord Gimelzor. There's going to be lots of Gimels and Gimel that and Gimel, Gimel here and Gimel there's. Capital? None, as of yet. The Great Cape and landlocked Firth of Umbar had, had been Numenorean land since days of old, but it was a stronghold of the King's Men who were afterwards called the Black Numenoreans, corrupted by Sauron, and who hated above all the followers of El Elendil. After the fall of Sauron, their race swiftly dwindled and became merged with the men of Middle-earth, but they inherited, without lessening, their hatred of Gondor. Our starting location, the King's Men have come from the surviving Black Numenorean villages and towns far to the south of Middle-earth. They start with no provinces. Our early game, falling at the feet of our Gimelcad, is the decision of where to stretch the hand of the King's Men. The world is ready for colonization and the early game will be what you make of it. Our military overview is worth noting that the King's Men are a maritime nation and that they can sail possibly the most able ships in Middle Earth. Yes, we went on the seas. Making naval power and exploration very easy. Their land strategy relies primarily on excellent heavy infantry supported by keen archers or crossbowmen. They feel very limited cavalry in the tradition of Numenor. Special features, auxiliary recruitment, most humans, coordination and we can rebuild Fornost and Osgiliath uh, which we will be near Fornost so that'll be good um, rain, rain units of course are our royal knights and our royal guard welcome in Bart hey man just stopping by to wish you a happy birthday can't watch the stream due to exam week on uni but we'll be watching later on YouTube good luck with the start of the new campaign in PM. thank you Bart appreciate it mate um, thank you for dropping by and thank you for the birthday wishes very hard very hard uh, manage all cities and we are on long, so, and there's, because it is truly a, a neutral campaign, we can do whatever we wish. There is no places we need to occupy. It's just hold 60 regions. Um, so we can go wherever we so desire. The Arad and I, let's get into it. Oh, that was loud. If you're just joining the stream, uh, the sound alerts tonight are not working. Uh, any that have been uh, redeemed, I'll, I'll refund um, those points at the end of the stream. Okay. Where are we going? Hello? What? Just here. So, of course, I always say if you have not played Divine Conquer before or you don't know, uh, you haven't ever watched Divide and Conquer being played, uh, feel free to pause the video if you're watching on YouTube uh, as we hover over this. Most of this is fairly common knowledge. Um, just thinking things that are unique to us. I don't think we have any building restrictions. I think we have access to most structures and great roads, most tiers of, uh, in fact, all tiers maybe of markets. I think we have pretty much full access to everything. Um, yeah, so not really any of that applies to us, really. Specifically for this campaign. Uh, this is the, the quote-unquote law around this. Now, my understanding of the Arad and I'm in Divine Conquer is that it is somewhat based in law um, and somewhat based in fan fiction. So, obviously, it's based on the King's Men um our gimel cad uh so 
the whole the whole splinter in Numenor. Um, but and also mixed in with the whole idea of the Umbar, you know, pirates, Umbar, raiders from the south, um, sort of mixed in with that aesthetic. But the whole idea that they've come north into Middle Earth from the south uh, with with the the remnants of the king's men, I believe, and I'm happy to be corrected, but I believe is um, kind of the the fan the fan fiction side of it. I think um, Galu Galu created in amongst all that when he made this faction. So so look, oh, get some black cat, very nice. What else do we have? A bag of coins, it's helpful, inconspicuous. Oh, this has never happened before. Oh, what well, in this case? Maybe it's because I don't have a, uh, a city. It doesn't pop up normally. Like information. So before we go any further, let's make sure we have our sound options right. I have to guess normally. Sit down to 85. Uh, 90. I've been going to recently, haven't I? And up to oh, the music must be a bit of the soft. There we go. Up to 35 percent. Now, we are going all the way up to Mythlond. That is the plan. Here it is here. This is where we're going to get the Haven, and this is where we're going to start. Now, that is a long, long sail. Now, I know often people in Arden Iron campaigns will uh, cheat move their units to the location to get where you want to start. I'm not going to do that. The reason being is if I cheat move immediately there, the initial challenge is going to be lessened. Because, and, and really everyone knows, the initial challenge in Total War campaigns is, is really what you're here for. So if we cheat move immediately there, the initial challenge is, is lessened. Um, so if we have to actually move there, by the time we get there, the High Elves are going to have a chance to have built up a little bit. Um, so that's that's the idea. Now, the other thing I'm, I was thinking about is I don't, I want to send these guys maybe on the boats as well. Don't want to send the diplomat through on land because I don't want to get other diplomatic missions to talk to other factions. I want him there when we land so he can talk immediately to uh, uh, the other lads and get the missions to talk to them, get a little bit extra gold. And I want the spy there immediately as well to get the culture going over. Now, I could probably send him by land, but it'd be just easier to send him by the boat. So, let's get everyone on the boat. Before we go, though, ready. let's have a look at who we have here. So, we have yes. our faction leader. And, ooh, oh my goodness. This is random generated. This is random generated, the army you start with. And we have not done well. We have so many archers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight archer units. And the four Rosadan footmen. We have zero halberdiers. Oh my goodness. Zero halberdiers. And we're going to try and kill the elves. We may have just lost the campaign. This is random generated. This is random. You can you can get a random selection of resident footmen, resident bowmen, and resident halberdiers. And we got zero halberdiers. Zero armor piercing. You do get one of the uh, Nardu Tariks. Uh, we got Argimulkad. Who's a royal guard. He's a very, very good unit. You definitely get a uh, Nardubuib. Which is the, your mainline uh, archer unit. So he's pretty good as well. And that is with Gimulthon. Who is a Baruthiel's watch. I guess we're challenging the elves to an archer fight then. Yeah. Uh, Baruthiel's watch is very good. 12 missile attack, armor piercing. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Not too bad in melee. But you don't want to be fighting in melee if possible. Uh, and then we have yes, Lord Gimelzor. Which is a Ardenine armsman unit. A sword and board. 13, 6 and 28. Excellent stamina. Excellent morale. Uh, and he has a Narduzagar unit. So the only armor piercing we actually have in our entire army is one Nardu Tarek and one yes, Brutheel's Watch. We have zero Halberdiers. Yes, I can't believe it. I actually can't believe we got zero Halberdiers. I feel like we've we've been actually stitched off straight off the bat. Okay, jump in. Everyone in. Head of there. Yes, my lord. Uh, we don't have room for mercenaries. Okay, so that's the whole the whole lot. Now, I want to get this diplomat and the other lad on there as well. Now, I'm pretty sure I can't actually put them on anywhere along here. I think this is not... I think the closest way I can actually get them onto the boat is over here. So, I'll... I'll send them up to there. And that's where they can... They can get onto the boat. 
Um, even though it kind of looks like beaches, I think I remember recall along here, just in, in Gondor and Dol Amroth campaigns and stuff, you can't actually, can't actually land there. So I'll send them north, and you can go pick them up along here. It won't be too much of a detour. Away we go. Away we go with our archer army. What's their stats in melee? Three and nine. <laughs> oh, man. I have so many archers. Oh, that's that's not good for taking a settlement straight off the bat, which is what we're gonna have to do here. We can All go right. no further. <laughs> oh, so many archers. I don't, I don't know uh, what I'm gonna do with that. <sighs> See, the elves in Mythlond have Mythlond nobles. We can hope that maybe Curtin's not in there, but I mean, what are our chances of that? Of course, he's going to be there. And they're probably going to have another Mithlon Noble unit, I would suspect. So, two Mithlon Noble units Ships are enough to basically kill yes, in melee every single one of these archer units no without breaking a sweat, right? In fact, they can probably kill almost everything here without breaking a sweat. So... <laughs> Yes, my and of course they're gonna have other units as well. They'll have a bunch of elven defenders because it's because it's the capital. Um, Approaching quietly. So yeah, that's. Ships ready. Action announcements. Oh, admiral getting some stuff. Old king's banner. Okay, some crowns. Okay, that's good. Good. I'm happy to get some some extra retinue. That's good. Now we are making gold each turn. Uh, obviously, it would be an absolute uh, killjoy if you lost gold as the Aradonaim before you settled. Now, the interesting thing about this campaign is, as well is that the south is really open. Yeah, I, I don't, I can't talk to, I can't. There's nothing I can give Harad to get to talk to them um, because I can't get trade agreement because I don't have. I have to agree something to them. I can't get a trade agreement because I don't have a settlement. I can't sell map information. Like, it's, it's, that's what I mean. Uh, we'll, we'll get our diplomat on the boat and send him send him north and go up there. So there, can yes, you my lord. come a little further? As you, go to there lord. and get on. Approaching so we're quietly. just making... So we're making about, oh, what? Over 2,000 gold turn? In fact, the side effect of this... Hang on a second. 280? 260. I wonder... The halberdiers, I think, are more expensive. So maybe... I guess we'll have a little bit extra money, but I mean, we're going to have plenty of money, aren't we? It's going to take a fair few turns to get there. Once we get that diplomats on board and our spy, we're just going to try and zoom up north. We'll be end turn simulator for a little bit until we get to Mythlond. Um, once we get past Gondor and Dol Emroth... Um, a few pretties. There might be a, boat, a few boats around Gondor and Dol Amroth just have to avoid so we don't get uh, zone controlled. Ships ready. Yeah, you go to there. My Lord. On you get. Sneaking. Go ships a little ready. further. On My you get. Alright, so we've got everyone Boarding on board the ships. ships everyone on board ready. the ships and let's... Uh, actually, I will just manually navigate here because I don't want, as I said, I don't want to work in, walk into zone of control of... of um, any... Numenorian ships over here. Sail. Oh, Gondorian. Ah, I love infantry factions. I really do. I love the grind. Um, you know, heavy infantry up against heavy infantry, just swinging away at each other. It's it's a great feeling. I love it. Okay, just yes, sir. manually Full navigate sail. through here. Set Once sail. we get past the coast here, we should just be able to click and go. Yes, sir. Let's keep going. Now, obviously, we could just do the whole when we get to Mythlond, siege them out and wait. Um, that's not very fun. So, I, th I think we're going to siege and go in. <laughs> but I, I really don't know how that's we're going to go without any... Without any... Uh, Alberts. No halberds are starting out. I still can't believe it. Look at these garbage spears. Garbage spears and these garbage bows. Okay. It's just gonna be... 
I mean, we could shoot every arrow we have into a Mithlon Noble unit and it's not killing them, right? This is... This is... It's like, oh, you have plenty of ammunition. Yes, sir. Full sail. Mithlon Noble units do not muck around. Isengard and Lothlorien. I mean, there's going to be quite a bit kicked off by the time we get there. Turn 7. Guess the other upside is that because we're not just teleporting ourselves there... The High Elves might build up those settlements a little bit for us. Uh, uh. Thank you, cheeky High Elves. Resident Footmen are good, to be honest. Not against Elves. What do these guys got? 4 and 15? Yeah, that's not good against Elves. A fine day to sail. Yes, sir. Full sail. Is not good against yes, elves. Full sail. No punching power. They will get torn to shreds. We are going to face. Uh, so there'll be Garrett. Well, even less he's moved out. But I, I, Curtin normally sits in Mythlon for a while. Um. A fine right. day What's the fastest sail. way here now? Let's go. Get that. I, go no further. I got at least one Mythlon Noble unit. Like, they eat Rosadan Footman for breakfast. It's... it's and even, even other Elvish units are going to eat them for breakfast. 15 defense and only 4 attack. They're not killing the Elves. Yes, sir. Full sails. Keep going. We can go. Which means we have to get away to utilize our bowmen. We have to be able to use them. Somehow we have to be able to shoot the elves inside their settlement. If we got the bows up on the walls and then shot down, maybe we could do that. It's going to depend on how many defenders they have as well. A fine day to sail. We can go no further. We have a ton of money though. Gee. Like, we could have a full surround off on Elvish units with Resident Footmen firing in with those those bowmen, and it's not going to crack them. Ships ready. I am I am legitimately concerned. I was hoping when we spawned we in we were going to get further. a good number of halberds. <laughs> we got none. So, this could be, could be a, a, a restart. <laughs> I mean, we wouldn't restart, I guess, if we lost. We'd go to the auto save, but... Um, yeah, it's gonna be tough. Well, let's keep going. We're almost there. Diplomatic information and Isengard and Rohan, turn 13. Dale and Dol Guldur, turn 13. Barely expected. How's our wealth? We're seventh. 47% of Kazadoom. Ah, that's just actually pretty rich. We're pretty rich. Now, the elves do have some boats to start with and their boats are slightly worse than ours I think just from memory or maybe they're slightly better maybe they are slightly better is it High Elves Aradonaim then Gondor or you know Gondor and Dol Emroth in terms of strength of boats I can't remember what, who, who is better the High Elf boats or the Aradonaim boats it's very very close we can go no further Okay, elves have had are gonna have what eighteen turns. Fornost assaulted. I'm gonna be capturing Fornost this campaign. It's gonna be ours. Right, we will just uh, manually move again. Now we could just go, right? And take full on to Harlon first. But that's the we can go no further. That's the chicken move. Uh, we wanna take out the take out the take out the prize first. Once we have Mythlon, we can we can move from there.
Okay, let's just manually move again. Because we don't want the... Yes, sir. Full sails. Elves to interrupt us. A fine day to sail. Yeah. Set sail. Okay, let's see how we're going. How many is in there? Five units plus five. What a garrison. We learnt that from our um Wunderbad campaign. The ten ten elves up against twenty are out of nine, but most of my units are archers. If we could get a draw out. That would be possibly the best thing. I mean, it would be the best thing to utilize all these archers. A gift from the council, 2,000 gold. Okay, sure. Sure. Ships ready. Okay, so we got some boats here. Why are you addressing me? Yeah, I, I feel like we could lose that fight. Ships ready. Set sail. The Grey Havens we've reached, also known as Mythlond. Uh, Curtain's going to be here. He's gonna be here. Is he in there? Yeah, he's there with his with his Mithlon nobles. 21, 7, and 38. 20 armor, 12 defense, 6 shield, 7 charge. That's my I think my balloons went down, something happened then. Um <laughs> The question is, is there Ships ready. Let's get our agents off. Your orders. Going ashore. And our spy. Ready. My lord. See what's going on. Leaving There's another Mithlon Noble. Two Mithlon Nobles. Lindar Guards, Lindar Bowmen, Lindar Mariners. Two Mithlon Nobles. <laughs> Ships ready. My goodness. Okay. Um, righto. Let's let's depart right right on the spot. Taking the troops ashore. You're all, my lord. War declared. Um, I want some ladders. We're going to need to do some sneaky stuff here, I think. Uh, do I want ladders or do I want sea showers? No, sea showers are always dodgy because they can get destroyed by towers. Yes. Okay. Um, so, I will want yes, my lord. diplomat, diplomat. Once we take this, I probably want to immediately talk to the dwarves. So can you start going this way? As you wish. Stopping here. And could you just give me some intel? Because the other thing we need to know is have they taken Oskillen? I haven't. Okay, so the issue is here, if they've taken any other settlements, if we take one, two, three, that's gonna spawn the their doom stack. Right? If they have any other settlements on this side of the map, we cannot deal with a full a full doom stack of elves. Yes. So we have to make sure they have no settlements yes. over here when the Doomstack spawns. So the so this so the Elven cell, uh, Elven army has to march all the way over Imladris. That's the that's the hope. And you might think this looks like an easy battle. Oh, who took that just then? That's the dwarves. Okay, the dwarves have taken settlement to the north. Okay, talk to the doors of Erlum. We've got five turns to do that. That's My excellent. Lord, without question. Go over there. I shall continue to Can I just get a little more intel from this side? Approaching quietly. Okay, so Bree have here. Okay. My Lord. Um so come back. Approaching quietly. They didn't they didn't sally out. That was my only other hope. No mercenaries available, so we can't get anything extra from that. Yes, my lord. We shall engage. Do we want more siege equipment? Yes. Seven turns. We're not waiting seven Come turns. Battle. That's boring. We're going in. But the question is, do we want more siege equipment? So I want a third ram. Might occupy some units. Now I've got to break up their units. I think I do want a third ram. We're gonna siege for a second turn. I want a third ram. Um, just grab, grab a couple more. Um, okay. I think what we have to do here is just really, really split them up. Let's do that. A couple more rams. Maintain siege. Okay. Yes. We'll go one more, one more turn, and then we'll go. Um, 
Because often if you send a ram to a gate to knock it down, the AI will send units to defend at that gate. But if I don't actually attack through the gate, so I knock down the gate, have the unit there, and that occupies, even if it occupies one high elf unit, right? Then that's going to be better. That's going to be better than than not occupying that unit. Because I've got I've got the advantage in numbers. All right, let's do it. Let's go in. As you command. We need to make a save here. AA battle. Right. So it's a thousand against three thousand, but they have five additional elven defender units upgraded. Um, the Glindar guards are upgraded as well. Like you look at that and you go, this is this is an easy battle, but it is really, really not. Mithlon nobles are incredibly good. Attack. We're gonna see how good though. How good are they? Question will be when do we send in our generals here? And how do we use them? I, I really don't want to lose a general. Yeah, I'd never hear the end of that. Uh, this is good. Right, so first things first. Let's just sort out what we're doing here. So, we got so many archers. So, the archers are going to be pushing up the siege equipment. For sure. One there. One over here. Now, let's think. Kind of just want to occupy them. The one there, one over here. And I want to get another one around to this back gate. But even if it's just to... Just to occupy some... Yet, what's the fastest way around? Is that... Around to here? Or further around from here. The fastest route. This looks slightly longer. Yeah, this looks quite a long way around, actually. Yeah, I think that's the longer way. So, if we go the third ram. Yeah, third ram. I want you to come over here. And you'll head around to the, the other gate. If, if only as a distraction, right? That's... If only as a distraction. Okay, back over here. So then we want any ladders. Can we just have any ladders? Anyone with ladders over here. Drop them over here. Drop. And then bring them back over this side. Now, any infantry. One, two, three. They are my elites. And then the Rosadan. Okay, so that's there. Go like that. Uh, what are you doing? Drop the... Uh, just put the ram up here in case it, the other one burns or something. Go to there. Drop the the ram. Uh, yourself over here. Right. Yeah, good. Then we go archers. Archers, I think I want up on the walls. If anything, just to distract units. One archer, two archers, three archers. So if we went one, two, three, I want to spread out that much. I want to be able to support each other. One, two, three, four. Or is that too much? Maybe just one, two, three. Uh, one, two, three, four, I think. Two, three, four. Okay, so you four are going to come over here. The one will be right against the edge. The one could go this side as well. You might be able to get shoot down on units behind the gate. The one over there, one over there. And then one here. One. Put two up. What if we put two up? We'll just see. Uh, we'll have to see if they have units on the walls. So that could be subject to change. So then we have one, two, three archers left over. Come to here. And then we have our infantry. Rosadan, ready to go through. And then our elites behind. And also our other general. I don't know if they're a touch too close for the towers. They might be a little bit close for the towers. Just back up a touch. Just until we get the until we get them open. And then we got our lead archers to... Where are 
we need these ones. Our better archers ready to to kick down once we get a shot, maybe get behind and fire. Okay, I think we're as about set up as we can get. Um, okay, let's go. There's units up on the wall. Not up here though. Up we go. Go, 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 go. I want you guys to support each other. Stay near each other. Go over there. Um, over to here. I'm around this way. Around, 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 around. All the way to here. Uh, you didn't even know the army's randomized. I just started one just up and got two halberds. Yeah, it is, it is randomized. Like, it's those units you'll get. You'll definitely get one... Uh, Nadu Tarek, one Nad, um, Nadu Zagar, and one Nadu Bwib. But everything else is um, is randomized. What's firing here? Yeah, so what I actually want to do is can you come over to here? It says archers, Linda Bowman. The you fellas, when you get up on that wall, fire at will. Anything you can fire at, I want you to shoot at. Okay, we need some units. What's, what's behind here? Is this where the Mithlon Nobles are at? What do we got? We got Mithlon Nobles and Elven Def Like, this is just such a... It's a kill zone. Um, okay. Bring bring these fellas up. Two, three, one, two up here as well. Start coming. I mean, if I was defending here and had this coming up, I'd be like, man, this is a strong defense. Okay, they're going up onto the wall. Okay, okay, we, we gotta get in. We gotta get in. We gotta get in. Run up here now with the elites. With the elites. Go, go, go. Alright, now if we can keep those Mythlon Nobles up on the wall, like, these guys are gonna get roasted, but at least they're fighting something we don't care about. Everyone run up. Go, go, go. Run, run, run. And we might get a chance to shoot them. Shoot anything, really. Over here. Yep, just occupy them with the unit. Occupy them with the unit. You. Where are you going? Come on. Get around to to here. The battering ram is in place. It'll not the battering ram has done its work. So, what I want to try and do here immediately, can we just stop? Can we fire into here? Get it here. Can you guys get them to come out? If we can get them to come out here, it is it is a hundred times better. Yep, get them to come out, get them to come out. Fire, fire, fire. I mean, this is kind of good. Okay, what are you guys firing at? Yep, rip them, rip them to shreds. Yes, the archers are ripping them to shreds. Good, that's what we need to do. We have to make use of our archers. If we don't, we, we lose the battle. I want to slow things down because I want to get over to this unit. No, the other unit. This one. This one. Did you now just here? Yeah. Go like this. Stand and fire at will. And fire at will at these ones here. Okay. Keep firing. Keep shooting. Keep shooting. Keep shooting. These lads are up on the wall. That's excellent stuff. Excellent news for me. Okay, could you fire into anything over here? No, that's out of range. Okay, uh, could you shoot... Could you shoot, like, these guys here? Shoot, shoot that. You can. Okay, they've come out. Into them, into them. Go, 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 go. Into them. Pull back the archers, pull back the archers. Get into them. Go, go. We have to get in and get the archers behind the line here. We have to get the archers up onto this hill here so we can actually do something. So any archers I have left on this side. The battle is very uh, much in our favor. No, you three, you three. Get over here. Run, run, run. Punch through, kill him, kill him, kill him. Just get into him, get into him, and kill him. Surround him, surround him. Uh, hold fire, hold fire, hold fire. So one. One, two, one, two, three. Get in, ready, and go. Push through, push through, push through. I want you to get up onto this hill, get away from the towers. And you know what? Fire it will. If you see something, get in there. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. They're coming down. They're coming down. This is excellent. This is excellent. Surround them. Surround them. Surround them. Surround them. Surround them. Uh, where's the... 
armor piercing. Get up here. Go. Okay. Kill him. Okay, things are happening. Not too quickly. Okay, can we shoot over here? Shoot that. Actually, no, no. This one, this one, this one. They're coming over. That's what we want. What's happening over here? Can you fire at that? Keep firing. Okay, over this side. Where's my ram? This one. Get on this gate. Keep going. Keep going around. Okay. Okay, can we pull back? Pull back to about here. Where's my Bruthiel's watch? Get over here, get an angle on him. I know it's... Um, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. Uh, where are their units? Over here? Get the archers over to this side. Run. Okay, Bruthiel's watch. You have to kill these Mythlon Noble. This is one Mythlon Noble unit. Can we pull back a touch? Can we pull back a touch? Get back, back, back. Back, back. Okay. And now, I uh, know that they're running. They're running. Ah, it's a pain. Shoot them. Shoot them, shoot them, shoot them. No, no, no. Get off, get off the ram. Get off the ram. Kill them, kill them, kill them. Get those. Okay, you fellas, get inside. Get inside, get inside. Let's go. In, in, in. Everyone in. Get away from the towers. Get away from these lads on the walls. Away from the towers. Make them come to us. This is the one shot we're happy to take here. Fire at will. Pop that. Okay, these archers on the wall are doing really well. Even though they're dying to towers or whatever. Um, they're kind of getting the job done. As long as the Bruthiel's watch is firing into the into the Mythlon Nobles. Our men are in command of the city. Keep, yes, that's excellent. Yes, yes. This is pretty much the only way we can get... This is our two armor-piercing units. Remember, there is another Mythlon Noble unit. Okay, can we come over to here? Come to there, come to there, come to there. Archers, archers, archers. What are we We've at? Lost control of the city. Yep, they're coming down. Is that that's Lindar guards? Let's go and kill them. Uh, you guys need to get into position, uh, ready to shoot into the square. Come back to here. We forced them down from the wall. Keep coming. Come back to here. Okay, uh, come to here. Come across. Okay. Now what we want to do is just let the archers do the work here as much as possible. So come to about there. Set yourselves up. What's going on? Linda Bowman. Oh, they're coming back. Okay, cut into them. Cut into them. Thank you for the happy birthday, Rayleigh. Appreciate it. Okay, how are we going here? We almost killed them. Oh, they're actually coming for our general. Okay, where is our... Um, get over here. Keep shooting, keep shooting. Actually, we want them to kind of... If we continue like this, hold we here. Smash the enemy. Get, another, get another shot in and then run. One shot, one shot. Yeah, we're gonna run, 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 run. If they pull, if they run into the general, there, he's just dead. Okay, this is fine. If he wants to go for these guys, we surround them with this unit. Um, spread out, spread out, spread out, spread out, spread out, spread out. Yeah, and fight, 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 fight. Okay, we're surrounded with these guys. You get in, you get in. Ignore that. You have bigger fish to fry. Okay, the generals can deal with him. What's left of him? Okay. Behind. Okay, you get in as well. Get in, get in, get in. Run, run, run. Okay. okay you fellas here need to do the work. Start shooting. Uh, can I have two of you down here? Two of you down this flank? They've kind of surrounded us. Uh, can you get into... Into there? And our mariners. Get, get over here. Can you kind of get over to this side? Get some, sh get some clear shots. Okay. You fellas get... Why did you go up the ladder? Why? Oh, get in, get in, get in. Come, 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 come. Get in there, get in there, get in there. Go, go, go. Okay, archers up on the walls. Uh, you've kind of pretty much done everything you can, I think. Oh, you're out of ammunition. Get down. Go help surround the elves. Get down here. Go fight, go fight, go fight. Okay. Um, Alright, shoot them, shoot them. The Bruthiel's watch over here. We need to find the uh, the Mythlon Nobles, wherever they're at. They're, they're in the middle, they're in the middle. Yeah, can you shoot at the Lindar Guards? You shoot at the Lindar Guards. And you two... Um, like get over to there. It's nice and narrow, nice and narrow, and you can fire into that flank. 
Is this Elven Defenders out here? My goodness. Yeah, we killed this Mythlon Noble unit. It's done. Let's go. Uh, I don't want to get... Sh just wait to wait for them to come through. I don't want them to, these fellas to get shot by the... Um... Sure, run in, whatever. Uh, uh, no, whatever. Let's get the in there. Badly okay, you guys need to shoot. I don't need an angle for you. Actually, come, come to here, come to here. And shoot these ones coming through the gate. Looking good, looking good. Okay, all of you... Come to here. Keep running, keep running, keep running. How are we going? Okay, shoot the Lindar guards. Shoot the Lindar guards. Okay, you two here can now hit this flank. Hit these bowmen. They don't like getting shot. Okay, kill How are we going? I think we're 34%, 70. Okay. The, that Mythlon Noble coming outside and being surrounded was just perfect. That's exactly what we needed. Okay. Plenty of time left in the battle as well. It's the other factor here. Uh, we just have a unit ready to protect these, this general. Okay, how are we going? Shooting into that. Oh, the pattern ram's in place. Okay, that was the that was the the supplementary plan. You guys here, come around, come around here. Push forward a little bit more. Push a little bit more. I don't want them to actually chase you. I just want you to get more space for these guys to come behind. Do that. I keep targeting the um keep targeting the Lindar guards. Shoot, shoot, shoot these Lindar bowmen. That's what I told you to do. Yeah, shoot so you probably shoot the Mythlon nobles now. You shoot into their back, so you're going into 20 armor. So that's pretty hard. 20 armor with not armor piercing is pretty hard to break through. Uh, what's happening over here? Okay, just into that, into that. That's fine. Okay, so that you can start with, get the generals in, up to this hill. Yeah, now you need to get around and shoot these Mythlon noble from over here be your spot. If we can get the Bruce Heels watch on the Mythlon Nobles, then we are set, basically. Shoot into that. No, no, don't chase him, don't chase him, don't chase him. The gates have fallen. No, no, don't chase, don't chase, don't chase. Don't, don't fight the Mythlon Nobles. That is just a, a waste of troops. Okay. So every archer now... Every archer now is firing onto those Mythlon Nobles. You fire, 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 fire. Can you get a little closer in? Run down, run down. So then we can get you fellas firing, firing to that as well. Uh, we have another one. Where are you? No, no, where is this? Where's this one? Yep, fire into him. Why are, you, why are you arcing your shots so much? I don't like that. Um, come around here a little bit more. Under there. Where's this one? Yeah, this is the one. Run over, run over, go, 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 run. Hey, if they're just gonna stand there and take it, then we can kill them with the with the crossbows. I really think just having one unit go over here and having them occupy a lot of a lot of space over here, and then getting the Mythlon nobles up onto the wall over here, that was a huge like we sacrificed this bow unit, but who cares? We got we got a million of them. Um that that at least got them out of the way. So all of you now firing on that. You're out of ammunition. All of you are out of ammunition, so stand there. Keep firing. How are you guys going? How's your shots? Yep, that's nice, nice shots, nice shots. You're now firing straight into their shields. Got plenty of ammunition on the crossbows. Okay, anyone here, just pull back. Don't give the Mythlon Nobles any excuse to to come out, basically. Oh, what is this guy? Kill him, double, kill him. Uh, let's give ourselves a, a war cry. More effectiveness. Oh, they're coming. These are coming. All right, they, they, they are, they've had it with, yeah, whatever. You guys are just sure, fighting it. Can I get you around the edge? Yeah. Okay. Come around as well. I get there first, actually. Get a volley. What about there? We've got these two as well. Pull them over. They can be the next, Our men are in next command line. Are oh, they coming back? They're coming back. They didn't, they didn't like that. They didn't pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. Get the you fellas around. 
Yeah, we've got this. This is good. Okay. We've lost control. There's archers city. up on the wall. We've got a lot of kills. Don't, don't get shot by your crossbows. Our men are in command of the city. Okay. And just use them as a as a sack. And let them let them crossbows get the kills. Yep. Thank you, fellas. Thank you for your sacrifice. It's a worthy sacrifice. Where's Curtin? Is he in here? Where is he? Here he is. No, is that him? Yeah, here he is. Here's Curtin. Give that another cry. Oh, yeah. Mythlon nobles down. Well, I say so, but. Fire? They will fear us. We wait for battle. Seriously? Yeah, just get these fellas in there. Where are the Ardenon armsmen? Get in here. Let's go. Hold. I'll fight. I'll fight. I'll fight. I'll fight. I'll fight. Get in there. Let's go. Continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Alright, get in there, kill him. Right. Curtain, you're going down, man. Mythlond is ours. The Grey Havens will fall. Just get out. You're, you're useless. Get out of there. No, no use you fighting. We are the elite. Oh, feels good. Feels good. If he, if, if he dies, oh yeah. Lies dead. Let the crows have his be awed by the victory we have won here today. Excellent stuff. We've taken our new home, lads. Where's our faction leader? Is over here. Lead him. Uh, uh. Gimmel, Gimmel, someone, I don't know. Um, <laughs> Gimmel Chad. Uh, look how nice these uh, these lads look, eh? Those shields. I do love a crescent shield. Um, maybe it's me just watching Troy as a kid. <laughs> maybe that's what it is. Prithia's watched 106 kills. Yeah, they got to fire into the most important targets, the Mythlon Nobles. Look at the healing we got. My goodness. 127, that's like almost the whole unit. I'll take that. Now the one, one High Elf Leader is dead. The other one is still alive. And the best thing about taking this... Did I hit close? Um, is... No, we're not sacking. We're taking. Uh, is Watchtowers. Oh, yeah. Watchtowers. Look at the vision. The vision. That was devastation. That was two turns of devastation. Wowzers. Um, now, you... First things first, before we forget. Talk to, the, talk to the dwarves straight away. Trade rights? Uh, yeah, that's generous. Can we get a little bit of gold from that? Oh, it's still generous. Balanced. I accept nice. this offer. I'm not going to sell them trade uh, map information right now. We might wait till we get a few more settlements. You see the power? Absolutely. Yes. Hmm. I wonder if we don't get to recruit generals. Maybe we don't because we're a horde faction. I normally generals would be available here, right? Maybe it takes a turn. Maybe we don't get them. Right.
Ah, uh, Gimel... Gimel Cad. The Gimel Cad, the Gimel Chad. I was gonna- I was gonna call him Af- Afarazon. And then I realized, no, it's not Afarazon. <laughs> it's not Afarazon. It's- it's Afarazon's, um, intellectual property gone mad. Ah, uh, Gimel Cad. <laughs> uh, I actually didn't look at his biography. It's additional two hit points, that's nice. Um... Numenorian Crown. Yes. Yeah, it's good. Ben. Minus 1% construction cost, plus 1 public order, plus 3% taxes, plus 1 acumen. That's actually really good. That's a really nice retinue. And I think that's unique to the um, Arden Army. Black Numenorian, 1 authority, 1 command. Yep, that's good. I'll take that. And what does Numenorian give us? 1 hit point, 2 commanding, infantry, and plus 1 renown. The plus 1 rena renown is really nice. So, so generals in, in general, generals in general are good at maintaining public order. I'll take that. Conqueror of Mythland. Excellent. Welcome in Stardust. Happy birthday, EPM Chen. <laughs> ah, Stardust. Sorry, you're not Stardust Immortal anymore. I just, I went back to my, my habits. Stardust Papega. Welcome in. My lord. So, we want to strike at these two immediately. Pretty sure all your governors get Ben. It's not bad. Yeah, it's a pretty nice one. It's a pretty nice one. Construction cost, acumen, public order. It's, it's just super, super solid. I want to strike at these two almost immediately. Um, we've got plenty of troops. Uh, can we just... Let's merge. Let's see what we got. I know well, people don't like when I merge things, but sometimes sometimes you just do. we got plenty of that. So we'll send two generals. I think we'll leave... Uh, Gimulkad to govern. Yeah, he's got the best acumen. So, we'll leave him to govern. The question is, do we leave him alone? How long till we get units here? Well, we want to get Mason's Hall. Um, so, I saw here we get Corsair Rays at 5%. It'll still take a while to be ready, though. What is our barracks? 15% gives Azrazaya Warriors, 25%. 15 and 25. Okay. Just... Any troops in here? That's right, fool. It's an I'm just very ship. mindful of the fact that we are already bordering I the Hobbits and they have an army an right here. Lord. They will leave uh, our Gimelkad with a couple of units. Like, maybe a couple of archers. So if we yes, take everything but a couple of archers, he can defend pretty well. Um, he can defend pretty well. So let's do that. Port gives me a unit as well. Now let's have a look. Yes, ship's ready. Yes, my jump onto the boat. Uh, you get into here to start turning public order or culture. Let me have a look at As was I Marines, that's 40%. That's a long way away. They are a really nice unit though. Armor piercing, um, armor piercing missiles. Plus 12 and 13. That's that's like a solid, solid unit. It's good against mounts, yeah. Coastal regions. Requires coastal regions. Are these guys coastal re regions as well? Corsair Rays, I guess they would be, yeah. Coastal, Coastal. So I think a lot of our units are Coastal locked. In fact, now we can actually look at our look at our, our build tree. Uh, not, I'd normally do that at the beginning, but we didn't have a settlement, did we? So let's have a look at what's actually available for us. So Rosanen Footmen, Rosanen Halberdiers, Azuzaya Warriors. These are our main line. Uh, the Nardu Tarek, the Nardu Um, Are they armor piercing? They look at it. Yeah, Effect Against Armor. The Armsmen we get as well. That's what our, one of our custom generals are. They are required. Oh, they're not actually available everywhere. I thought they would have been. So they're coastal. And the Afarazon's faithful. Maybe they're available everywhere. Yeah, so they are a pike unit. High tier, strong pike unit. And they're available everywhere. 75% culture for them. Uh, Rangers. We get the Bowman, the Crossbowman, and the Nardubuib. They're very nice. Uh, now, here, we don't get the auxiliary rec recruitment. 
So this is the auxiliary post and or the, constru the construct conscription camp and the barracks of True Sons. But because this isn't a human settlement, we don't get this. Um, the elite crossbowmen are forest or bar baron only. Um, is that, that these guys? The Baruthiel's watch is woodland or barren. Okay, so they, they're woodland or barren. Right. Oh, well, they'll be available in a fair few places. Oh, this guy has a pocket theory already. So you got a pocket theory? No. I'd like him to all get a pocket theory, honestly. I might, I might prioritize getting that. I haven't done that before, but I think I might prioritize getting a pocket theory on all my generals. My main generals, anyway. Has this guy got it? No. So we'll get, as soon as we get, like, one of the early buildings we'll prioritize is the is the public fountains once once we have like before any other economic that's buildings that's right. what we'll get right so we want to avoid these boats I'd never take if possible uh can you come down to here Set sail. okay so away yes, we go sir. with those troops and we go strike at harlon straight away no just get in there don't muck around we are we are fast hitting these no, elves and he, there's no mercenaries Talk to the dwarves. Probably start moving My him Lord. this way. Try and talk to them next. Before <laughs> uh, I, I feel like we're gonna have multiple wars soon. Yes, just ignore me, boats. High old boats. You don't want to know about it. I'm. I'm just hoping that Bree doesn't. Doesn't think that we are an easy target straight off the bat here. Oh, okay. Except. Cool. Take Harlon, 2,000 gold. <laughs> you read my mind. You read my mind. That over here. Yeah, he's here. Free upkeep. Nice. Okay, so that's, that's fairly well defended. They haven't made any moves. Did we get a mission to look? No. Um, also, what are our... Uh, let's have a look here. So, Horde Start. Yep, we know about that. Subjugation. The Iron Arm can construct both constriction camps... Conscription... Conscription camps and Barracks of True Sons that allow them to train local troops from the factions whose lands they conquer. Some of these units, such as the Gondorian, Dol Amrothians, even have unique Iron Arm visuals. Well, we know any of them. Settlement Restoration. West Nosgiliath, East Nosgiliath, and Fornost. Um, no building limitations, full access to all settlement tiers, regular access to level 1 to 5 armor from blacksmiths. And can choose to retain the one ring or return to Sauron. So we can't, that's a bit of a shame, we can't kill Sauron with the ring. Because we are like a neutral, quote unquote, neutral faction. Um, be cool if you could actually do that. I guess they, they have to code it one way or the other. That's somewhat understandable. Somewhat understandable. I feel like my spy, my spy should do better than that. I should be in like 8-9% already. Is my spy bugged? Maybe. Uh, now, do I want all of these troops to disembark? No, because I want to go take the other settlement as well. So we're going to leave one lad here. Uh, what's this guy's? Two. Two renown. Ships ready. Uh, right, so let's yes, drop off Lord. you. Kind of want them to sally out at me. I just put like a really weak army here. Uh. Orders, your will, my lord. My lord, your will, my lord. Let's leave them here. With honor. Siege it up. That's the important thing, so that they don't um, they don't get any troops. Yes. Ships ready. Can you come over here? Set sail. A fine day to sail. Okay, get yes, off sir. the boats. Get off the, the boats. Ships ready. Really tempted to attack right, that. It's an enemy ship. Your orders, my lord. Ships ready. Can, you can I see their stats? Can we? Can I get a little closer and see their strength? That's right, fool. 
It's an enemy ship. Nah, I, I, I just want to get back over here. I want to transport this this other lad when we can. Get him over here because this guy's renown is quite low. He probably can't hold on to a settlement very well. We got money. Ooh, we are rich. Okay, sure. Yes, my lord. Without question. Okay, so this culture is at two percent with a spy in there. One spy that should make it to about six, seven percent in a turn. So I kind of think that my spy is a dud. I think he's a dud. I'm gonna say it. I think he's a dud. The general, the, the faction leader will be turning the culture over. He'll be what's doing the work in there at the moment. Anduin's leader is dead. What a surprise. What a surprise. Hey, do we need Northman? Beyond's Hall's fallen. Gee. Turn 21. They're not dead yet, but you know, they might set a new record here. Bond. My lord. Down to here. Yes. Stopping here. Okay, let's get the Mason's Hall up. And okay, nine turns on it on those. That's a long way away. Nine turns is a lot. Your orders, my lord. Okay, they didn't sally out. They've got another unit in yes, there. I don't like lord. that. As you come on, we things, shall prevail. Get things underway. Yes. Did culture go seven? Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the culture. Now five percent. I think that's just this guy. Maybe the spy is doing a little bit. Is he like just? Hey. He's just a dud. Maybe because I s start as a horde faction with the spy. Maybe it's just not. There's a, there's a line of code there that isn't working. I don't know. Your orders, my lord. Okay. Can you bring him over to here. Taking the troops ashore. Here you go. Now, are there any mercenaries here yet? No. I'm just. I'm just very nervous about this. Like this. This can do a lot of work. Uh, that's a there lot of lads. Us, yes, it's a lot of lads. Okay, six turns, five turns. I want to do these on the same turn. So... Yes, my lord. Is that enough to take this settlement? Should be. Although it's the, the fast-firing towers. They're always very good. Bikes. Yeah, the fast-firing towers are no joke. We can't go in this turn anyway. I'll definitely want a couple of ladders. So we'll wait until we got the ladders and the and the gear ready to go. You've been doing the spy thing since I saw you do it, and it's always worked since. Yeah, that's why I'm surprised. I'm surprised that um, it's uh, it's just not not turning over what it should. I was saying, it could just be, like, there is, when you think about it, it's a horde start that starts with a spy. So, yeah, there's there's possibly just a, a spaghetti code in there that's that's uh, that's not playing ball. Oh, this guy. Yeah, yeah, you're fine. Now, you My wait Lord. to talk to them. As you wish. We have a mission to take this one. So, how are we going on this? We have... Yes. As you command. Can we get ladders? Do that. Yes. And then same over Your here. Orders. How are we going? Yeah, so we'll have the ladders we next turn. Engage. Yes. Yeah, I think I think we'll go in and fight. I just want to get the siege equipment ready. ready. Uh, I can't stand for this. And the two sixty-three against two two twenty-six. So we got the numbers on our side. And they've got only three of the light boats. Although this one does have silver silver chevrons. So 10, 1, and 16. 10, 1, and 16. I mean I can't I can't click on mine, but I think ours are better than that. These ones? 10 one, they're very, very similar. We have the balance of power. Clear victory. <laughs> naval battles, eh? It's such a victorious. such a such a coin flip naval battles. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Um, where's he at? A fine day to sail. Where is he? Yes, sir. Full sail. Is he out here? 
Yes, sir. Ah, I found you. We have a spyglass. We saw you at the edge of the horizon. I saw you hiding there. You're not getting away. I so kind of flinched there for a moment. Thought it was a, a Breland army moving in my direction. Now, something they have added in version 5, and I haven't played a high-off campaign in version 5, but I can see them now, is the forts. There never used to be that fort for High Elves there. I believe there's another fort that never used to be there down here somewhere. Somewhere in this area. I think there's a fort over here somewhere as well, but I, that one may have been there. I can't quite recall. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe they've add, I think they might have added a fort for each of the, the High Elf regions, um, which just improves their capability as a high elf faction, a lot. As, as the player, not so much as the AI. But it's going to help me out. I'm going to be pretty happy with it. Ships ready. All right, yeah. Let's turn off fast boats. Where, which direction do you go? You went up here. Okay, that way. Okay. Victory is ours. So let's, let's see if we can't. Because once we get these boats down, the high elf boats, That's there's going to be nothing to contest us on the seas up here. A fine day to sail. Where have you gone? Yes, Where are you? Aha! <laughs> I found you. I'd never right. take orders from you. Once again. The enemy fleet. Where are you going? This way? You just going straight? Just, just straight down. Okay. We are victorious. So straight down. A fine day to sail. We can go now. Yes, my lord. Okay, we've got the siege equipment. As you can... Your order, my we've got siege equipment. This one has less units. Yes. So we'll go there first, and that's also our our quest. Uh, are there any yes, my lord. Your orders, my lord. mercenaries? Nope. Yes, my lord. I mean we could wait three turns, but but we're not doing that. We're going in. He's going in. I get a general killed here. Muster your courage, men! We march into battle! As long as our, our crossbow general doesn't die. That's... <laughs> that's the... You know, these towers are very good. As I've said many times before, way better than the than the tier above it, the tier that Mythlon was. These towers are much better. And look at these catwalks they get. Oh, as the player, they are so good. Sit your archers up along here, and you just hold, shoot anywhere along the side here as well. Shoot anywhere along the wall. Oh, they're so good. I I love these catwalks. I wish they were in the the, the higher tier settlement. Like, look at this here. That, that shooting down to there it is just an absolute kill box there as well. Like, it is so good. Um, it's just like a clean shot. Like, it just makes archers inside settlements. It just guarantees your archers inside settlements are going to have an excellent time. Um, such a such a good addition. I love those in the maps. I wish all the, the elven uh, maps had, had those little catwalks. At least all the, the Wood Elf type maps. Wood Elf, Sylvan Elves. So. Uh, what do we got? Just drop, just everyone drop their equipment. Just put it at the front and drop it. I want to see what we got and who we're working with here. So, that's our elites. Save them. They're also the elites. That's a general. No, this guy's a general. This is our standard general's bodyguard. Um, so they're very similar to the faction leader. I think they're slightly weaker. 11, 6, and 31. Maybe they're exactly the same. Ah, no, I think the, the faction leader one, the... the Not the household guard, but the, the elite unit has inspires nearby units. And maybe can't be broken, possibly. I think that... So there is a bit of a difference there. Uh, so... We want to split them, because they only have three units, obviously. Um, so... There's lots of towers on this side. There's lots of towers on this side. Uh, and there's lots of towers on this side. My goodness, these settlements. They are so strong. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll go Mr. Spearman up the middle here. 
Mr. Bowman. No, no, no. Wrong one. Drop that. Over here. Mr. Bowman, over here. And you guys are just distractions. Alright. Over here. Mr. Distraction. 2.0. This Bowman is going to get on the... Really? Can I pick up three now? Because I... Because I... Seriously? Because I clicked it with the smaller unit? Oh my goodness. Okay. I've actually split that ladder into two. That's interesting. Um, I now actually have... I actually have two ladders, two lots of ladders there, um, which is somewhat. Yeah, that's that's interesting. Right, so you fellas coming around here. Actually, can we? Um, can we use that again? Can I go... Nah, this is too many in... What about this unit? Nah, that's all four. Okay, I was, I was like... I wonder how, how much we can abuse this... Um, abuse the laddering. Yeah, not you. You get on there. Okay, so you lads come around. So we got two over there. Now we have three units. They can't defend everywhere. They cannot defend everywhere. So, I have you over here. Move out. And then you come... Maybe just wait in the middle. Actually, you, know, you can grab on this. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. uh, and you're going to come all the way down here. Right? All the way down here. And you're going to go around the back. Okay, so we're going to try and split them as far apart as we can. Go, go, go. Down, down to here. And where are you at? Put units up on here. So just avoid the no, mariners. Yeah, avoid that. Around here. Why can you not... Oh, you can't go up on the ends? Okay. Under there. Actually, don't go that way. Just go over here. There's no unit over here. My goodness. Don't be stupid. Okay, so there's nothing over this side. So you don't don't bother going don't going up the ladders. Get over here. So this is our way in. Now this is just distraction. Holding these two units here. It's just our spearmen. Don't care about them. Get them in. Keep going, keep going. Now hopefully these towers aren't firing. Hopefully these ones aren't activating them. Ram is in place. It'll not be long before our enemy's well, defenses marines. fall. The marines, they just wrecked them. Yeah, they are starting to move, so we need to be quick. So could you drop your ladder? Drop it. Getting quite close. I want you to get to the middle. Will we be fast enough? Okay, come to here. Ready to get in there straight away. Up we go, up we go, up we go. Our men have reached the walls with their ladders. There we go in here. Sixty percent. Oh, they brought their unit back? Sweet. So this is... We're, we're in the clear over here. Absolutely in the clear. So we're going to go straight through to the middle. You lads getting up there? Get up there. Let's go. Our men have reached the walls with their ladders. The battering ram has done its work. Now, I don't want them to engage. I just want them to step forward a little bit. You just drop that. And just kind of get out of the archer. The archer, um. No, try and, try and like. If you can just like stand there and, I don't know, just, just, just hold their attention. 
No, over here, over here, over here. Go, in we go, in we go. Let's go. In, 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 in. Run in, run in. All the way to center. And then where we got these lads? Same thing, let's get down. It's firing at us. Towers? Same with you. Can you just get down to here? Or you, you fellas run to there. As I said, we're just, we're just going to hold them here just to hold the unit in place. That's all they're doing. Like, you probably sneak past. Can you, like, run past? Because they're not actually covering the gate. Ah, uh, they're fighting. Okay, whatever. Uh, can you fight from the, fight from the wall there? No, hey, just fight, just fight. Whatever, I'm sacking you. Just fight. Get everyone else to the middle. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, sneak you past. I said sneak past. Sneak past. That is not what I told you to do. I I, I swear I told you not to fight them. Okay, so can we have you fellas over here firing into the back of that? Okay, we got our elite unit here as long as they're not too tired. And we get a general as well, so we should be fine. Can you fire into that? Okay, it's starting to come. Right, what about on this side? They're coming as well? Right, okay, so we do it one side at a time. These are mariners. So just get in there. Our men no Kill longer them. command the city. If we continue like this, we will smash Where the are the Baruthios watch? We open the gate. Oh, we still have... We open the gate, open the gate. I'm getting in. Get them. Just pull back. Like, I'm, I'm happy to give it to them. Just, just pull back. Like, we'll win this fight easily. Lindar Mariners are actually not that not that good at chop in, in melee. The two units there, isn't it? Yeah, we need we need the we need the crossbows. Yeah. Now, can we actually get up on the can we get up there? No. Yeah, so can we get up to here and start firing? Uh, can we get you in front? You behind, a couple that you're up. We, yeah, can you just shoot into into that? Same with you, fire into that. Fire, 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 fire. Get out. Don't want to charge into this because that'll expose the, the general to this flank. So I'm quite happy just to fire. Yep, because we'll just we'll tear them apart at the moment. We get a uh get, get in amongst them. Nice. How good do these guys look actually? Have a look at them. The, the, I mean, it does. it's not actually a shield in terms of the, the files, but it looks cool, doesn't it? The old shield, very like heraldic, um, chival, chival, chivalric, I can't even speak. Heraldic knights, like the crest almost, you know, on the shields, looks very nice. Chivalric knights, there we go, I got there eventually. Yeah, so once they're dead, we can, we can hit them in the rear. Keep shooting him. Speed it up. Ah, oh, slowly going down there. Where am I? Crossbows. Silent death. silent death. I like the sound of that. Uh, can you guys now shoot these fellas? Them. Dodge into that. Break those. Yeah, look at them. Boys, you need to. You need to close. You need to close the gap. They're trying to. Our men are in command of the city. Uh, can we get into the back of this? My general's in there. I don't want him to die. Get in there. Get in there. Everyone. Everyone in. Everyone in. Everyone in. The battle is very much in our favor. We've lost control. The enemy uh, army flees the field. Okay. My general was was down. riding amongst on the flank there, and I don't think he has a lot of hit points. I don't think he has anything extra. I actually haven't checked him. And battle. We are victorious. Our soldiers have fought and died well today. 
So I like to hear, fought and died well. Must press our enemy and no longer wait upon him for the move. That's, I mean, Aragorn's words, words, but this is what exactly we're doing right now. We're pressing our enemy. Arlond, thank you. An honorable, glorious victory. A most noble conquest. You can go low taxes. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so what do we have here? Port, very good. Market, that's nice. Merchant's Wharf as well. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's good, good, good. Let's get the Mason's Hall going. Oh, no, no uh, meeting hall. Yeah, it doesn't start with a meeting hall, that's right. I remember from High Elf campaigns. So they couldn't actually recruit any units here. Well, that was good for us. 2,000 gold. Thank you. Alright, next up. Fall on. Now, we've checked. There is, yeah, they haven't taken Basra Doom. They haven't taken Dol Vaughan. They haven't taken... This is the dwarves here. That's fine. As long as the elves don't have another settlement here, we are in the clear. Because the, the Doom stack will spawn and yeah, we can't fight it, so. There's an additional unit in here, but we got some more we got some more troops on this one, so let's get in there. Got another ram as well, it makes a difference. More mariners, long spears. Attack! Will the Doomstack still spawn here or will it go to Imladris? No, there's it has a set spawn point. So it, it, the Doomstack, Doomstack for elves always spawns um, near Mythlond. Um, yeah, but if it spawns here and they have no territory here, then they can't attack anything that isn't bordering them. So they'll just, they'll just have to nick off um, elsewhere. Man, this guy looks like a pirate, doesn't he? He also needs enemy, a few more pixels. Remember. So these are the Aradonaim Armsmen. We saw them in that first battle in Mythlon, but we didn't get a close look at them, did we? They've got the whole Crescent, whole Crescent shield going on as well. Um, they look, they look like they mean business. Like there's nothing fancy about that get up, is there? That is just all business. And I guess they have this sash. That's a little bit fancy, but it's very much business. And in case no one ever knew, because I know there's people who don't realize this, but when you select a unit in Divide and Conquer, the selection circle is actually the um, the ring, the one ring engraving. Um, I know not everyone knows about that. Actually, it's an easy thing to miss because you just see it all the time. But yeah, it's actually the the one ring engraving um, around each of the units. It's pretty cool. I don't know if I've ever mentioned that actually. But there you go. So, same plan here. We got three gates. We split their forces. Hope they um, hope they go elsewhere. Let's go arch here. Uh, arch around here. We'll put the got so many arches. Um, they put another archer on the other ram. Because if they get through and they're just standing there, we can kind of just shoot them through the gate. Get there. Get a uh, get a Nuck Baron killer. Hey, first time catching a stream. Love the content. Appreciate having you here, mate. Uh, we have a new campaign today with the Art of uh, and we are currently killing some uh, pointy-eared, pointy-eared elves that decided that they wanted to live in their ancestral homelands. How dare them! How dare they decide that they want to live where I want to live. So that's one, two, three. Let's then just keep splitting them up. So where are the roads that go in? This is what you want to look for when you're doing these little battles like this. There's a main road here. 
There's a road here. The road here. I mean, is there actually no roads into the center except for the main? Yeah. Actually, no road. I guess on this side, there's a couple. This side, there's a couple. But ever all the, the three other sides where we have our rams are all... Are all just, uh... You know what we're going to do then? We're going to put one on here. He's going to go up to there. Same thing on this side. You're going to come around this way and go... Go far left. Far left and try and split them. Uh, you are just going to go somewhere up the middle. There's not a lot of towers in this middle section here. Uh, and they may not have units here. Uh, that might be a good spot there to fire down the down the ranks, actually. Come over to here. Yeah, go to there and you can get up here and might be able to fire down the ranks. And then we have this one just in reserve waiting for the opportunity to go in through the front door. Did not expect to see Mythlond so soon. Um, yeah, well, this is... We, we've taken Mythlond. Uh, we are now on to the other... Other settlements here. Let's go. In we go. In we go. In we go. You over to here. You over to here. Up we go. In we go. And in we go. Oh, they've actually put units here. Well, you know what? I'm just going to happily let you sit there, right? Until you want to move. I'll, I'll just leave my unit still. And you can, you can just do your thing. Okay, so where are their units? They do have a one over here, but it's kind of moving away. That's good. Remember, this is all just smoke and mirrors, these battles. All just smoke and mirrors. Just pulling the AI to different parts. So they're not defending over here at the moment. That's good. They are trying to get this unit around. So that's when we now come up to here. Oh, no, they stopped. Just give them a chance. But this unit actually won't fight. We're just going to sit here and occupy their units. We'll knock down the gate. We'll say hello, how are ya? And, uh, and just wait. Okay, now's, now's our time. So, you fellas up onto the wall. Go over here and you can probably get some shots off. Okay, how are we going with the infantry? They're going around. It will not be long before our enemy's defenses fall. Excellent. I should have gone a little bit closer to the tower. <laughs> kind of in between two spots there. Okay. We've got these towers firing. That's fine. We can still just run. We just want to charge to get to the middle. All we want to do is get to the middle here. Our men have reached the walls get away from the towers. These towers fire so quickly. They are deadly. They are more deadly than ballista towers against um, lightly armored troops. Oh, they're just ignoring the gate and going straight for the spearmen on the wall. Interesting. Normally they prioritize the gates. 34%. Our men have reached yeah, the walls up. with their ladders. Actually not doing a bad job, really. But they've left this open. They're, they're trying to keep the towers firing, but that sh that unit should be further down. They've done well. The gates have fallen. So you can just get in, right? There's no one here. Yeah, you run you run straight to the middle. And get them away from these towers. Go, go, go. We've captured the enemy Same with you. Go, go, go. Into the middle. We'll sort you out, sort you out once we're in there. Same with you. Into the middle. They've they've left the path open. Like, feel free. Uh, they're just gonna have to fight. And they'll lose because the towers are firing at them. Although is this one firing? No, it's just it's just this one. Which means that the shots will there'll be a few friendly fire shots, but they can fight there, that's fine, it occupies them. Yep. Yep, we're sneaking through. We're sneaking through, let's go. Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. Same with you, let's go. Get in there. Once we're in the middle, we should be able to get the R9 aren't. He almost caught us. Our men have taken control of the city. Uh, can you go this way even? That's the way I want you to go. Okay. Get to the middle, and then they should start pulling back in. Once we occupy the center. So can we start lining ourselves up here? So just kind of go... 
there. Leave one here to keep the countdown going. And then can this one come over to this side? Like that. Everyone, everyone around a position. Go, go, go. Okay, so we're occupying one unit over here. Temporarily. This one. Okay, they're coming that way now. That's fine. Okay, if they don't come back to the center, I mean, we win on time. We got one unit, two units. Now they're, now they're defending the gates. It's too late, mate. We, we, we got through. Oh, this is over here. This is a... Can you shoot? Can you shoot instead of using your swords? Yes, that's that's what we're talking about. Use your bows. That's much better. Absolutely. Keep shooting. Keep shooting. Just force the force the fire command there. We are ready to strike. All right, they're starting to move. Yeah, they're moving in. Okay, I thought they would. But as I said, you you've just got to stay here to occupy them. You can actually just fall back a bit so you don't go into melee. Same with you. Can you fall back? Fall back, fall back, fall back. And then where's our infantry? We need, we need an infantry unit over here. Let's go. Do we get a bit of a crossfire going on here? Yeah, are they still force firing? Yep, just keep force firing. It's the best you can do. Because that means we're all actually fighting there, not just the ones on the front line with the swords. Keep them occupied. That's okay. Stay there. Okay, so you need to shoot at them. You need to shoot at them. You need to shoot at them as well. We've lost control of the city. That's okay. We don't need control of the city. And now that the gates are free, you can get in. And this is our this is our kill power unit. Get in here. Shooting over here. You can shoot there as well. And you shoot and don't just don't don't. You shoot. No, no, don't get your swords out. Shoot. Fire, 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 fire. Alright, they're, they're not doing it for me. Okay, do that. Fire. Okay, go to that. You just keep pulling back. Pull back a bit. Keep them interested. Run away, run away, run away. Okay, are we winning on the wall here? Kind of, because they're, we're only taking tower hits now. Which I mean is a lot of damage, but we've 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 cleared the the melee front, so just keep folks firing. Kill this one here is right right on us, please. And this one die, please. That'd be that'd be nice. Okay, so you you've fallen them back. Good. You shoot into them now. You keep shooting into their flank. Right, and then we got our armsmen that are coming in. You lads just come to there. Right, get away from the towers, keep running. Shooting in, keep shooting in. We are ready to shoot in as well. Excellent, excellent, excellent. It's all working, all going as intended. This unit is dying. Twenty-seven left. Yep, good. Yeah, if we hadn't have force fired them, they would have uh, would have been losing that handily. Yeah, I'm just quite happy to let them sit here and fight because it's just occupying this unit. Keep firing. I'm a little closer. You're too, too far away. Keep going. Timer is well. We've got heaps of time left. Don't need to worry about that. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay. Fire, fire, fire here. Keep firing. We should get shot by our own. Hang on here. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Like shooting getting shot by our own archers. That's okay. We're doing that. Perfectly well there. Keep going. Yeah, there. Pull back. If you can. Ah, there. Are. Where's our uh, Where's our Archie unit? It was on the wall. Were we winning this? Where did Archie unit go? They die? What happened? Weren't we Weren't we shooting them? Something, something must have gone down over there. Something must have been gone down drastically over there. It's okay. We're still winning. You turn around. Yeah, charge into, charge into them. Kill them off. Okay, 
If we continue like this, we will smash the. Okay, uh, let's just hold fire, hold fire, hold fire, hold fire, hold fire, hold fire. Hold fire. And kill him. I think that must be the the general. Yeah. Us. Enemy general lies dead. Now that might even route the units on the wall. Control of the city. Stand here. Get in. Get control of the city with these two. So then we can block the entrance back to the um back to the city with the infantry. Because we don't go, we don't want to go near the towers. This is fine over here. We've got we got plenty of time. If we win this, we lose this either way. It's whatever. But sending more units over here near the towers is um is just a death sentence for them. So I uh, said so we just wait now. Wait it out. They'll stand there. I'm curious to see how well Harad or Dol Emroth will do now that Arad and I are somewhere else. Yeah, um, I, I noted that at the very beginning of the, the What's video. What's the Elvish word for friend? Crankle Chrome, like thank you so much for the sub. Hold, F dot, hold, F dot, hold. hold lads, that's it. Who's, are we going to win here against the towers? Come on, Linda Bowman, eight. A little bit of friendly fire there from the towers. Yes. Behold, yes. Yes. The Elf works. Haven is ours. All three settlements. This Thank you very much. Victory. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And we put to use our our Archer Force. Like, man, I was, I was really, really concerned when I didn't see a single Halberdier. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much, Chrome Chrome, for the two month sub. Thank you, thank you so much, and welcome into the stream, um, Baron Killer. Absolutely, I'm I'm very interested myself to see what happens in the south. Like you would think that Harad kind of just takes over because they effectively are going to get like three additional settlements, we but I think trial. those settlements have really high neutral stacks. So, they might, like, go for them and lose a lot of their troops and then be weakened. And then maybe Dol Emroth swoops in and kills them. I don't know. It, it could go either way, I think. Okay, so we want Master Mason's Hall straight away. Get with These these settlements are going to be huge. They're going to be huge. So huge. They're going to be larger than the elves could have imagined they could be. Did you sail to Mythlond? Wow. Yeah. Yeah, we did. Umbar's a full banner. Yeah, I think I saw before we left, Umbar was a full banner neutral stack. So yeah, that would take a lot out of Harad's sails. We sailed to Mythlond. We killed all the Mythlond nobles in Mythlond. And now we have the we have the Haven. Look at this. This is our new home, lads. This is where we live. This is us. This is our stop. Um, I mean, this has gone excellently. We're we building everywhere. Okay, so now we uh, now we just hope we don't get hit by Breland before we get a chance to get some units up. I guess uh, we'd also want to take out these neutral stacks down here because they're causing devastation. So do we have enough units to go kill them? I mean, if I take yes, my lord. if I take that. Can he hold public order? Not quite, not yet. Um, maybe if we send... Where's that boats at? Where's that boats? Over here. Oh, he's, he's chasing the... Oh, all the vision out here as well. Oh, it's so good. I love watchtowers. Ah, oh, okay. It's... Oh, well, I, lo I love watchtowers. I love watchtowers. It's great. Even when I know that there can be no units hidden somewhere, like within territories that I completely surround, I still like to have the vision there. Makes me feel good. Host of the Eldar, the Grey Havens have faded. Yes, they're falling back. So this is why Linden rays, the stars themselves are dim tonight. The grace of the world troubled in its silvered, slivered, silvered sleep. Decimation of the Noldor is a sight to send anything of good grace to its knees. That's right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Book debris. Excellent. So this is the army that we could not deal with. 
it will be an honor like where's my dud you. spy yeah this this spy is doing i mean if i take him out my Lord. We'll, we'll do an experiment here i respect you look at this army enemy. elder elderwin way requay uh requayan the noldor veterans noldor veterans noldor archers the Riders, uh, Swordmasters, Sindar Archers, Sindar Spearmen, Sindar Axemen, Long Spears, Mariners. Yeah, this is the army that we could not deal with. So we had to make sure we got all their settlements. Uh, very, that's why we want to take these two on the same turn. So that there was no chance that we could lose, that they could get territory back here, basically. Um, so, what are we at? 12%. Right, I'm going to leave this guy out for a turn. And see what he gets. And and Dol Amroth. Okay. So what faction will you be attacking first? I, I kind of want to go after the after the dwarves. Like the dwarves have some really rich settlements. Um, <laughs> I kind of want to go kill the dwarves. I mean, if we get if we get their their core settlements here, like we're going to be omega rich, and we're already. I mean, we're already making two k a turn. But we got a lot in the a lot in the kitty. We're going to be omega rich if we can if we can get that up and running. We at the moment we just need to get culture sorted. There's going to be a little bit of um, just merge those. There's going to be a little bit of building going on here. Um, yeah, right. Ah, oh, I forgot to move my boats. That means they're going to move their boat. I think. Oh, they'd probably move it back to block a port. There it is. Yeah, we found him. We found the boats. Fun man, I can't wait to see the episode on YouTube. Have fun man, I can't wait to see the episode on YouTube. Yep, Crankle, cool. thank you for dropping by and thank you so much for the resub. Appreciate it so much, mate. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll I'll see you on the YouTubes. Well, you'll see me rather, more likely. I don't get to see anybody. <laughs> uh, Mythlon, right. Yep. Oh, we didn't talk to Bree. I forgot to talk to Bree. Let's talk to Bree. Yes. Hello, Bree. Trade rights. It's generous. Give me some money. You're poor. 400. Still generous. 500. Okay. Balanced. This seems quite reasonable. Right. Make very well. What app information. You, hey, you guys want 600 gold? Yep. Excellent. Except, well, that seemed fruitful. 750. Farewell. I mean, diplomats doing work. Uh, you know what, elves? Can we can we like without question? We talk to the elves. We get like I want to kill this boat, and then I want to talk to the elves. Um, and the have to it's sunk. It's sunk. We lost one of our ships, but that's okay. Is it's down. Yes, sir. Full sails. Don't quite have enough there yet. Ships About over ready. here. We do some retraining. Yep, retrain those. Yes, my lord. No mercenaries. Shame. Uh, I don't want to peace out with the elves until I take these forts, actually. Um, can I just send a... That was a long way away. Maybe we won't peace out. We can peace out the elves whenever we want. It's not going to make any difference, really. Um, My lord. But I do want to go talk to the Arid Lewin uh, lad to get. Tomorrow's journey planned out. We can sell them. Nah, we can't sell them map information. They know where all the settlements are. That's not going to make any difference at all. That's not going to do anything. Right. So we are we are in a little bit building here. We can't really recruit any units yet. <laughs> We're stuck on the units we have. But I think what I'll do is I'll prioritize military structures in Mythlond. Uh, at least initially. And maybe... Maybe even military structures in Mythlond and... Uh, Forlond. We're going to go attack the dwarves. So these two. And then maybe go economic down here. Although, I do want to be able to take out these lads. So... 
keep, I keep wondering if we can get some mercenaries here. Ah, oh, no, it's the wrong one. You're Thought I had it there for a second. Lord. Nope. Nope, not yet. They're retrained. I don't think there's any more boats that are going to be disturbing us here. So what I would like... Okay. I'm going to go Ships move some ready. units. Over here. Sail um, just leave an... Sail. Leave an archer and one of those. With him. Then can we move Ships you over ready. to here. We can go no further. I should have moved that general over to here as well. Yeah, I'll have to do that. I'll have to move him over so he's governing. Because we're not going to leave this light here. He's not going to be staying there for that long. Uh, also, with my newfound knowledge of traits and taxes, I am hesitant to have on low or normal taxes now. Um, so can we go high taxes? Um, I mean, we've got plenty of things to build here. It's not like we're... Oh, I can't get high taxes there. Um, it's not like we're short on structures here. So, still getting a little bit of growth. Let's go high taxes, if we can. Um, yeah, that's that's better. Right, now, can you Lord, talk to Arid Lewin? We want to sell map you? information. 600... Seems we'll have little well, that was yeah, and do we have a mission to talk to anyone right now? No. So let's head over to, I guess, the Dunedain or yes, Angmar, one of the I two. Continue tomorrow. In that direction. Now, what did, how many I turns have gone you, by? But not serve you, Lord. One turn, I think, 15%. So, My Lord. chuck him back in there. Maybe it was two turns, I'm not sure. Got the experiment. It's not a very experiment if I if I can't remember how many turns it was, can I? Let's let's put him out again. Okay, let's let's put him out. So it's at it's at fifteen percent. I just don't, I think the spies are done. I think that's the conclusion I've come to. But we'll we'll check for sure. Now the higher it goes, it does it does change like the rate of the rate of change does shift to less as you get higher. Um, Dol Amroth expands. Okay, interesting. Without us down in the south, one ring is in Edoras. Yes, construction. Harlon, give me the goods. Fallon, give me the goods. Stuff. How's our money? Making 3k a turn. Okay, all of you jump off the boat. It's not many of you, is it? Um, can I leave this guy behind yet? Can I jump out into here? Aha, we have some mercenaries. Now, are there any armies moving this way? No. Three turns on these lads, and we do have some in here. So all of you... Go low taxes, yeah, that's enough. Go to there, and then let's grab... Uh, I kind of don't want him to recruit the mercenaries. Yes, I don't want him to have that trait. Yeah. You two. Yes, my lord. Your orders, my Jump lord. into there, and then you yes, go to there. All right. Your orders, and let's go lord. hunting these, hunting these lads. Get them off our lands. You get over to here, and let's yes, move yes, this one over to here. A, fine day to a little bit of management. Get that sorted. We can go no further. I want to keep checking to see if there's any dwarves moving onto our settlements. I mean, here would be short notice, wouldn't it? Um, I mean, we, as long as we have a notice, turns a notice, we can't just abandon the settlement. Now let's look, where are we at? That was 2% that moved. So if we chuck him in, we should see a much larger move than 2%. Much larger. Yes, my lord. Without the Shire. Question. Not quite. Yes. Sort of Tomorrow's the Shire, not, not, not Hobbiton. We've reached the Shire. I shall continue tomorrow. 
<laughs> you got him. I mean, you know what? If this makes it to the High Elves over in Imladris before, if you know, if they don't die over there, this, I mean, the goblins don't know what's hit them. If this makes it there, what are the goblins going to do about this army? Like, what, <laughs> what are they going to do? They cannot do anything. They could muster together every single unit they have in on the entire campaign map I and try and defeat this army. And I think they just lose in order resolve forever. Like, I, I don't think they're ever beating that. So as long as the, <laughs> the High Elves are just completely pathetic with their AI, they're going to do decently. Your orders, my lord. Now the ring choice will be interesting. What the L, what the uh, dwarves go for? Like, I kind of want them to reject the ring because then that means they'll stay at war with Angmar. I want them at war with Angmar. I want them weakened. I don't want their whole attention to be on me. Talk to the Northern Dunedain. Excellent. Let's go up there. My lord, without question. Anuminas. That's going to be one of our settlements. That's going to be ours. Can the high off AI, AI build anything with the high upkeep or does the AI cheat with stuff like that? Um, they get, so what happens with the AI is they never go negative red. So what they do, they can, they can get to zero with their, with their gold, but at the start of every turn, they get reset to zero and get, I think it's 500 or a thousand gold as a, as a minimum for the turn, right? So the AI never truly goes bankrupt. Like they can be low on gold. They can be like that, that 500 or whatever it is base amount that they get, but they never go like negative into the red, like the, the human player can, right? Like you can go negative, however much gold and you have to try and work your way out. Whereas the AI always gets a hard reset at the start of each turn back to zero, zero plus, um, 500. Yeah. Which is why AI, when they get down to like one settlement, if they're still alive, if you leave them for long enough, they will eventually have like four full stacks defending one settlement. And you're going, how the heck are they being able to build any units when they have one settlement? Like they don't have the income. They might be able to sustain one full stack and they got four. It's because they keep getting like 500 gold a turn. So each turn they can recruit another unit, recruit another unit, recruit another unit. Um, even though they are they are flat broke. Ships ready. Taking the troops ashore. Yes, my lord. He's into there. Good. So he'll be the governor over this way. Now I do want to get the public fountains up, uh, as I want to get these generals, particularly our generals that are going to be doing the fighting. This one and this one. I want to get them uh, the healing trait. Your orders, my lord. Okay. All right, Mister. Mr. Yes, neutrals yes, that are being Lord. painful. As you come on. I mean, yeah, the yes, the numbers are even, but it's it's really not. Muster your courage, men. We march into battle. Which is why, when you do like the Reunited Kingdom campaign, um, Baron Killer, and you and you join with Gondor and Dol Emroth. And the turn after you join, you immediately lose like 70,000 gold. You're negative 70,000 gold. It's because they've been able to recruit units, um, even though their net the upkeep camp. is, is way below ride. zero. Like Let's way negative. Yeah, it's a very bright battlefield. Um, Fellas coming here. It's very heavy archer force, so we need to make sure we shoot these lads. I think we're gonna be using quite a few um, corsairs. Just judging from what we what I see is available to us at the moment. <laughs> so aha! I love these guys. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Every time. Every time I enjoy it. You might think, EPM, you're being childish. Why do you enjoy that? Ah, ah, every time because I'm playing a game and I'm having fun. 
Ha! 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 Ah. Uh. Right, spread out a little bit. You guys are just going to stand here and die while we while we shoot them. Okay. You guys okay with that plan? Good. I thought you were. I'm pretty sure you were. A little narrower. If all else fails, we, we, we chuck these guys. We just run them in to die. Check the general. Now we want to definitely shoot the private axe with, uh, with the crossbows. Actually, we want to shoot the private axe with everything. Uh, let's let's be honest about that. <laughs> the bandits are, are neither here nor there. We should we should um, knock them over reasonably easily. Over a little bit more. We firing? Okay, good. Yeah, we should a couple of volleys into the the bandits should should kill a fair few. Right, but what we want to do is we want to pin down these these lads. Okay, everyone fire into this. Just so slow down. All of you fire into this property axe. Right, so you lads run into that. You run into this. You run into this. You run into this. And all of the archers. Focus the privateer axe. Crossbows have a good angle. Oh yeah, they got a nice angle though right now. Keep hitting them. Keep firing them in. This is this is the unit that has to die. Could you now shoot um I don't know, shoot these ones? No, actually no, keep shooting them. Keep shooting them. Ah, no, they're, they're almost dead, actually. Shoot, shoot those. Start, start playing some fire. I mean, you're not going to do a lot of damage against these lads, so... Um... Are we going on this side? There, that side's looking fine. The middle's still okay. As long as these archers are focusing this bandit unit. Let's shoot them. They're shooting that. Okay, you can probably even switch here now. Switch to these bandits. No, 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 no. You switch to the bandits. Switch to there. So uh, you go this one. You go get the Nadubuib. We haven't had a, we haven't had a close look at the at the Um They are a very nice looking unit as well. I mean, just look at that. A very look at the. I like the uh just the the slumbers, the stenciling on the on the archer quivers. It has the the same effect as like the stenciling around here. These these are exquisite looking models. Um, just just putting that out there. Um, I love the look of the models. What I don't like is how how similar the um, the battle portraits the the portraits down the bottom on the HUD look. I think I think I that's what I don't like about them. Everything else is exceptional. Like in battle, I mean the detail on this. This look at the detail. I mean, they just look so nice. The little feathers out the top, some having hoods, some having feathers. I mean, just that that sort of... Um, I don't even know what color that is. Like, gold stenciling, almost. Um, it just looks exceptional, right? Stenciling on the bow as well. Um, even even these guys. These are just the Rosadan footmen. They look really nice. Um, but yeah, the, the, the portrait models look very, very similar. Behold how our cowardly foe run. This is a clear victory. Okay. Honorable, One down. Glorious victory. Your orders, my lord. What do we got? Some of these healed. Excellent, because we need them for a front line. Get down here. Start chasing this guy. 
to battle. Kill him. How many turns away were we? Six and two. As our culture. 19%. That was one turn with, with the spy in there. 19%. Yeah, I, I think we went from 17 to 19. So I went from 15 to 17 with just the general and went from 17 to 19 with the general and the spy. So this spy is a dud. I think he is actually bugged. So the starting spy for the Aradonaim doesn't give you the culture boost. Um, so with that in mind, he's just useless to have in settlement. So he'll he'll be a um, he'll be a an intel spy. So you may as well go stand up here and do something useful because you're not. What's this guy's name? Indrazor. Indrazor is is the one that we just don't use for culture. Yes, my lord. Now, the Aradonaim uh, get some pretty nice units. Um, I'm excited to get the Royal Knights. I love Heavy Cav, particularly that is like super elite Heavy Cav. Um, yes, my lord. Um, and I think we As would get them from Numenas and Fornost, I'm pretty sure. Um, so that's, that's where we're going to be going to get them. I'll be very excited to get those ones in the army. Now, because this Spy is not, yeah, Spy is not doing culture at all, really. We do need a Dark Sanctuary. Take one turn, get that going, and then we probably go from Dark Sanctuary, maybe to the barracks even. 25%, we should have it by the time it builds. Yes, my lord. You have a proposition for us? It's good there is something else you wish to propose then. You hold us at rank. This pleasure was all ours. Without question. I shall continue tomorrow. Welcome in, Fallen. There you go, mate. Uh, now, I didn't get to look through with the with the start. As I said, I, I didn't do my usual start. And normally do like a little mini faction overview. We look through the barracks and the rangers. Siege. What do we get in the siege? Trebuchet. We get the trebuchet. That's interesting. Uh, not that I'll use it very much, but still. I guess because we're like a... Numenorean faction, like we get the trebuchet. We get tier 5 armor, Ardenine plate, and that's that's the armor. There's no unique armor script or anything, so we just get tier 5, which I believe is the same as Gondor. Same as Gondor and Dol, Dol Amroth, I'm pretty sure. Same tier. Master Builders gives you standard ports. Um, we get some very good ships and the Azazel Marines from there. Sea Trade. Standard marketplace, we get to tier five. The Grand Bazaar, roads, we get trade, trade, uh, the trade routes, great roads, whatever they're called. We get four tiers of food and three tiers of uh, livestock, so that's looking very nice as well. All good. How's it going? It's going great. It's going great. We obviously get mines. Okay, so we get three guilds. I didn't look at the guilds. So we get the Fighters Pit. Which speeds up replenishment of all melee infantry within its settlement. And the Fighters Guild, which you only get one of. You get an Ard and Iron Arnsman. Okay. Merchant's Guild. Okay, we'll get them probably in our cities. Warrior's Guild. Is that different to Fighter's Pit? Fighter's Pit? Oh, Warrior's Guild is the weapon upgrade. Okay. So normally you'd want to get the weapon upgrade. Dark Shrines. Hold up. Hold up. I did not know this. Tier 3 of your culture building gives melee weapon bonus? Oh, I've just become very happy. Okay, so that means we don't need Warriors Guilds anywhere. What's the point of the Warriors Guild then? Raiders Guild, whatever, don't need that. Um, so I want Merchants Guilds in cities. 
and I want fighters pits, speed up replenishment of melee infantry in in castles. And I get I get melee weapon upgrades from my culture building. <laughs> that is like a really nice synergy. I've been playing some factions where the 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 guild synergy is not very good. Um like it hasn't felt very good to have certain guilds. But that guild synergy is nice. I mean, what? I mean, you don't even need the Warriors Guild. Like, what's the purpose of that? You may as well just cut the Warriors Guild or give, give a different type of guild or something. Um, if you get that from Dark Shrines. Yeah, entertainment. We get Corsair Raiders from Coastals. Standard stuff there. Now, we haven't got a general uh, recruit, so we can't recruit generals. Nothing unusual there. We can get the Tharbad Bridge. Oh, 10, 8, and 26. Skilled against mounts. Frightens nearby enemy infantry. Powerful charge. Excellent stamina. Can't be broken. Ooh. Ooh. Requires various. Yeah, it's var various new Dunedain cities. And then the Royal Guard as well. I think they're the same. I think wherever we can get one, we can get the other. Um... So they can't be broken, they inspire nearby troops. So very similar to the general unit, but can't be broken plus inspiration. So we get Tharbad Royal Bridge, or Bridge of Tharbad, whatever it's called. Uh, anything else we can grab? Our retraining. What can we get in our retraining? Lebanon Marines, Gondor Infantry. Ah, oh, Azuzaya Warriors, Azuzaya Crossbowmen, Azuzaya Marines. So Ardenon Armsmen, Baruthiel's Watch. So they must all be... Well, they're all coastal. And this is forests and desolate, forests and barren. Trauma warriors, Daratai clansmen, Bolchos spearmen, whatever. Okay, that's fine. So, yeah, these are all coastal units. Makes sense. Now, the auxiliary outpost we kind of talked about, but we can't get... Probably we'll look at more when, um, we, when we can actually build it. Garrison halls, obviously. Yeah, so we get the fighters guild in castles. Excellent. Oh, I'm excited. I'm very excited. I, mean, I can see why you like the set, the uh, the faction fallen. That's that looks very nice. Yes, my lord. Yeah, you're gonna die. As you come on. We attack. It's nice of them to come all the way up here to see me. This this neutral army tends to go all the way down to the bottom of this uh bottom of this region i know when i play as high elves like sometimes you gotta chase them all the way to the bottom they just keep running away from you it's nice that i i caught them right at the top yeah they should come to us and we are a very archer army archer based army um so once again probably put that on the flank put the corsairs next to the general so if we need to run someone in we just run the corsairs in to protect the general uh, actually, I kind of want the open ground, even if it's a little bit downhill. I like that. Let's, let's go. Keep it reasonably tight. Um, and then, yeah, so... In the middle. In the middle. In the middle. Over here, whatever. Uh, uh, gee, we're a little bit short on infantry, aren't we? Um, yeah, so we have to shoot them a lot. Are they coming to us? Yep. They're a better position anyway. Not really. You spread out a little bit. Oh. Are you going to go lone roof, lone wolf route, or will you make alliances? I mean, I feel like. We're probably not going to make any early alliances. Um, I think we'll do... Like, I don't want to be constricted early by by alliances. I think we'll... Like I said, like the plan is to... Once we sort of get ourselves sorted out and culture online... Um, our first stack of units... I want to go take the, the Arid Luin capital. I'm going to take some elves out. Because we've dealt with the, the high elves on this side. So high elves are, are gone, basically. <laughs> We've effectively defeated the High Elves. Um, like, yeah, they still have their, their settlements on the other side, but for now, they're, they're done. Um, so, 
I want to definitely kill the dwarves. I definitely want to kill the Dunedain because they have a Numnas and Fornos, which is where I can get uh, my elite units. So I want to take them out. Um, and... I mean, Bree will just be in the way of that. So... <laughs> so, you know... Bree, Bree will probably have to go as well. Broken. Bree, Bree will probably have to go as well. So, you know, that's... So that's Bree, Eris Luin, and the Dunedain. And the Hyles are already at war with. Um... Maybe Angmar. We might we might get an alliance with Angmar. Uh, although maybe not. Like maybe maybe we just kill them as well. I don't know. But certainly uh, I see that the Dunedain and the dwarves and Erid and and uh, the hobbits are kind of in my way. Maybe we get an alliance with Enidwyth, just so we don't have like enemies on every front. You cannot rebuild Fornos, so you maybe want to wait before taking it. I can rebuild Fornos. I can't rebuild a Numinas. We have triumphed. At least there it says I can. Uh, Arad and I are able to reconstruct or, uh, West Nosgiliath, East Nosgiliath, and Fornos. So, as far as I'm aware, I can. Um, it's a Numinas that I can't, um, I can't get my hands on. So, I have the same, I have the same reconstruction, um, qualities as Gondor and Dol Amroth, as far as I'm aware. Because they can't do a Numinas either. I think the only one that can rebuild a Numinas is is the Northern Dunedain. So yeah, I would really like the Northern Dunedain to one, hold on to this and not lose it to um, Angmar and to two, rebuild that. And look, honestly, I think they will. Like, we're not going to be rushing over here. Like as I said, the, the first target is probably going to be the, the dwarves. My Lord, so... Approaching quietly. Approaching you know, dwarves, and then Bree's probably going to be after that, and then yeah, the Dunedain will. will yes, my lord. They'll take their turn. Tomorrow's journey. They'll be there. Out. I but yeah, definitely want to let them tomorrow. rebuild it, get it up. Now, Your I want to get this lord. fort, um, even if it's just to go take it now. Look, you can you just run down and go take that. I'm not going to leave him there, we'll but I just want to take all these higher forts so I can peace out with them. Yes, my lord. Um. Okay, over here. We shall continue tomorrow. Oh, I forgot to put this guy off the Ships boat. No, I did. Oh, no, I did. Yeah, I did. That's right. There's a fort up here as well. I mean, I could just chuck these two in there. Um, who's the better governor right now? This guy? Yeah, I do want him to get the, the trait as well. Um, get their fountains up. So you lads can just go up there and sit in there. That saves us a little bit of money. Um, we're going to transport all of these lads over. Ships ready. Yes, you can go into there. Making camp here. Still one turn away on those. We're making two k a turn. It, this once we start spending this money, it's going to disappear very quickly because we aren't making a lot of money. It's just a big treasury at the moment from when we were a horde. Sixty thousand gold disappears very, very quickly, particularly if you start going negative income per turn. If we build some units, like we we don't have a lot of units right now. We are pretty much we're very low to the ground. Not many expenses, uh, and yeah, so that that'll disappear nice and quick. Yeah, little Scotcho, happy birthday! Not seen an AA campaign before. This is cool. Yeah, you can go wherever you want, uh, and we sailed all the way up here. We didn't cheat. We didn't cheat. Move. We sailed here. Uh, and we've taken out the elven 
your orders. Yeah, Lord. Elven side over here. I'm just, I, I feel like every turn that passes, Bree gets closer to attacking us yes, here. My Lord. Like, like realistically, who are they bordering right now? Like, yeah, there's neutral settlements, but like, I think they are likely to attack us. Now, if they took, I don't want this one because that's a very good mines here. Ray Havens. Does that border? No, this is Aaron Vaughn. Come down here and take that. We'll make camp here. I would really like Basra Doom. Like, it's a very good mindset. The question, it, all it does is open up another border with Bree that we have to defend. And realistically, if they took here, we're still, this is still the Greyhaven. So we're still just one, one settlement blocking Bree's advance. Um, and Ennard uh, normally comes down and takes this one. So I think if I'm just going to focus on the dwarves. We can come back and get this later. If Bree take it, Bree take it. Like, it's not going to be a problem. Bree's units are not going to stand up to our units. Like, they they just cannot. They just cannot. Thank you, Fallen. What's the game plan? Rush dwarves before pushing out through... Yeah, kill the dwarves is is, is the plan right now. That is, that is where we want to go to. Okay, so we've got tier one of that. 23%. So this, by the time this builds... Grab those two. By the time this builds... We should have the culture requirements for that. Yep. So get that going. Yep, we'll have all of those three units so we can start recruiting troops. As I said, Mythlon's going to be our, our troop hub. And probably these ones will be a combination of the two. A little, a little bit split. Your orders, my lord. Could you come over here? Set sail. Make your way over. We can go no further. Um... You know what? Can you just like go? Let's go take that. Take it and then run back. I, like, I just want to be able to piece out with the high elves. Um, just so I get all these forts. So that, because once you're attacking a fort is declaring war. So it's a little bit. What do they got over here? What's the what's the? Yeah, faction leader. That's what they got. Not much else though. Um, I don't know if I've ever actually fought. At Thorin's Halls. I don't know what the battle map looks like. Um, I mean, it's a Dwarven custom settlement. But I don't think I've ever actually f manually fought there. I've auto resolved there. But manually fighting there? I don't think so. So that'll be that'll be interesting. I think the same is true for the one up here as well. I don't think I've manually fought there either. So um, that'll be cool to see those couple of custom settlements. Luckily, know from experience that Gore dies quickly. He dies quickly to a warg, a single warg <laughs> unit, single warg model charging in. That's what he does. Biggest problem for A is cav availability. Uh, yeah, I know we need to get some. We need to get the human settlements for that. But against dwarves, we're just gonna we're just gonna go in there. And we're gonna fight them, fight them one on one, mano a mano. You know, get up in their face and. Uh, My lord. And show yes. them, show them we're in business. Stopping here. We're going to beat them at their own game. They think they do infantry well. <laughs> infantry and crossbows, boys. That's that's my line. Hey. Eh? You can hire merchant cavern arid reg arid luin regions, right? Uh, I don't know. S certain. I think I still count as an evil faction. I think I'm still counted as an evil faction um, because of the ring script. Even though I'm neutral, technically, 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 I, I can retain the ring or return to Sauron. So I think I'm still counted as like an evil faction, which means I might not have access to... I might not have access to... Yes, my lord. Yes, without question. The good faction's merc pool. Yeah, just take this and then the run back. I want you in here in case the dwarves attack. <laughs> Get back in there. Get back in there. We've got some Corsairs now, so we're looking better. I don't see any reason to recruit more boats. I don't think we need that. Yeah, that's easy. That's over 25% already. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Ships ready. Taking the so, so I don't think yes, we'll get Merchant Cab, which will be a, a real shame. What we got over here? 
well, lads, take that as well. We you can stay victorious. in there, save a little bit of money. We have won. Jump into there. In you just want to take it. Right, then come back. We can go no further today. Over we go. Camp here. March to exhaustion. Go there. Continuing later. Ships ready. Set sail. Get to that. Orders. March to exhaustion. Well, it must be faster to send the boat later. around. <laughs> oh well, we'll let him march up. It's not like you're in a rush with him. Okay, so Harland. Um. Architect, Black Numenorian, Architect's good. So, we probably do need one tier of the Dark Sanctuary, just for now. So just grab one tier of that. And same in Forlond. Yeah, we're gonna need one tier of the Dark Sanctuary. Your orders, my lord. Um, so who's the... He's the governor, but I mean, you two yes, are costing Lord, a lot of money. Lord. You would be better off with honor. For normal taxes. Um, my Lord. Your will, my Lord. You guys are so low. Um, I'm not going to be able to retrain this guy. You can just sit there. He can probably be retrained. Second, this one. You can't be retrained, though. Not, not anytime soon. Yes. So you fellas head up to this fort. We shall continue tomorrow. Okay. My lord. I'm back. Yeah, so we, we do need to get military recruitment up and running. So I'm I'm very much aware that we have a bunch of money in the in the bank and that's why I'm I'm going culture uh, I want to get the fountains um I do want to get the oh, I wanted to get the fountains on those guys hang on I'll send back one of them already has the apothecary I'll send back the other one who hasn't got it or in an attack this this guy's got it right yeah Plus 6%, plus 1 hit point, plus 1 white fertility. That's really good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. He's going to get 3 left. Yes, so you need to head back. Yes, I want you to get that. Lord, my lord. You head up here. We can go no further, my lord. Orders. To the ships. Looks like we get some really nice retinue. Okay, so this side, this side we're going to go eco on, right? So this is going to be our eco settlement for now. And we'll go full military in Forlond and Mythlond. Uh, so the best eco building right now is a free upkeep. Free upkeep. I mean, we could even get some troops from that as well, couldn't we? Um, get those Corsairs going. So we'll go free upkeep. And then over here, Forlond, what's the culture at? 22%. So, yeah, let's get the barracks. The barracks. The barracks into practice range, probably into um, next tier of Warlord's Hall, or maybe into Blacksmith, or maybe even increase, get the melee weapon upgrades. Anyway, it's going to be anything that is military related, we're going to go in that direction. Yes, my lord. I would also get a tower. Oh, we do have a tower right there. We do. Okay, that's fine. That's good. What I wanted. My lord. Back my down. We'll make camp here. And over here as well is, is full military. Anything we get our hands on military-wise over here. All right, we can raise those taxes. So we, uh, I want him to get the good tax traits. That, that will slow down the the rate at which he gets bad tax traits. Your orders. As you wish. What is it you wish to discuss? Seems like a most another proposition for us then. What are the victory conditions when you play as the Horde Nation? Is it just number of regions? Yeah, I believe it's 60, I think, just off from memory. Um 60 regions controlled. Yeah, no particular settlements. 
it's good just... well that seemed fruitful okay, yes. keep moving uh, I guess go over to uh, come come back down more this way go down to like uh it was done without question I shall continue tomorrow more gold yeah. 60 60 regions that's a chunky empire yeah but there's no because there's no like restriction on what settlements I have to get or what factions have to be destroyed um it is it does feel a lot a lot more like sandboxy that you can do what you want Lorian's leader is dead already she sure you can go in any direction against anyone yeah Gladriel falters Lorian's been raised turn 33. I thought I was almost expected to see faction destroyed message then. Everything else was popping up. Okay, Harlon. Okay, so yeah, get those two going. Um, is this guy need to be retrained? No, he's good. Come on. So we'll set, we'll send them all on the boat together. Right, so get those two building. Okay, so this is eco settlement. Um, I want to spy actually. My current spy is bugged. So let's get that one. It wouldn't be a bad shout to get elsewhere as well. Um, yeah, it's kind of kind of military, honestly. Working towards it. Uh, let's get the practice range. <sighs> I really, really, really want. I mean, one, two. Yeah, I really want the um, public fountains. Although practice range would get the troops. Okay, we've got practice range, public fountains. So then they at least are, are recruiting. Them happening. Come back in. Now if we have a boat over here, Ships once ready. once we finish transporting these guys, we'll send this boat over and then we can chuck them into this fort and then they can get back in a turn with the boat. So we'll save a little bit more money there. Yes, my lord. Yes. Tomorrow's journey planned out. I think neutral faction campaigns have the best AI. You know, Fallen, it's funny you say that. I was just about to comment on how the AI, I think, is going to respond in this campaign. And it was exactly what you're gonna say, little Scotcho. Uh, you might see in the um, the title today. My uh, sound alerts aren't working. I'll have to fix it off stream. I'll I'll refund those points though. I'll refund those points. Um, I'll go through at the end of the stream and refund anyone who's um, who's not okay. I'll refund them. That's okay. I'll, I'm happily refund them. I'll do it at the end of the end of the stream. Galadriel's gamble. That's the um. Spawn stack. Okay. Arlon, have some troops in there. Good. So, full of you into there. Full of you in as well. Over we go. Drop them off. Yes, sir. Full sail. Yeah, yeah, we just we just gotta get the troops rolling. Uh, can we? Re oh, he's a mercenary corsair raider, as opposed to my non-mercenary recruitable corsair raider. Uh, makes sense. Yeah.
Okay. Arid Luin rejects a gift. Okay, that's what we wanted, because we wanted them to stay at war with with Angmar. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's good. That's good. Lorien's being... Re they actually took it back. Would you believe it? Would you believe it? They took it back. Sorry, I'm just clicking things outside my window here. Karen's under attack. Dwinian Resplendent. 2,000 gold. Yes, please. Perhaps you seek a diplomat and not a warrior. Okay. My lord. Approaching... No, what's going on there? Okay, yes, definitely grab those. Okay, so now we go fountain. I want to get this trait on all my custom generals. So they are good warriors. They're good, good generals. Okay, we can get a spy. Definitely get spy there. And more troops. Spy first. Grab those and get the practice range. Uh, was there any units to retrain there? There was. Hang on, hang on. Retrain that one. Do that one. Ships ready. I drop them off. Leaving the boat. Your will, my lord. Yes. I retrain them with awesome oh, armor. Cool. Why not? Give it to them. Ships ready. You get back over to here. Set sail. Mithlond, uh, yep. Arlond, it's just the tier ones that we needed for that. Uh, now I think what I want here is growth because I want to get this up to high, high taxes. Uh, we want the public fountains. Look at the lovely trading carts coming out of Mythlon. Oh yeah, right. I love the I love to look at the trading carts. It's so nice. Trading with Bree. Trading with the, the, the dwarves. They don't know. Look at them coming up here. They don't know yet. They don't know what's coming. <laughs> uh, they're like, oh well, like, who are these new neighbors we have? The Arda Nime? I mean I'm sure they're I sh I'm sure they mean no harm. It's not like they've come in and slaughtered the elves. Um, you know. <laughs> it's, not, <laughs> it's not like they've come in and slaughtered the elves. <laughs> and and already started to, you know, establish a, a strong military presence in the area. Um, you know, destroyed the elvish navy as well as, as well as Curtin. He's dead. Uh... I think we're just going to trade with them. <laughs> I mean, maybe that's what I'd do. I'd be like, yeah, sure. Look how much money you're making from trading. You don't want to fight me. Yes, my lord. As you wish. Yes. I think Stop that they here. might attack me before we even go to I war with them. Continue tomorrow. I think is what's likely. I mean, I'm, lo I'm, I'm looking at this army here I and going, warrior, what is it doing? Not an emissary probably going to try and take this um, neutral settlement. It's probably slowing them down a little bit, the fact they haven't taken this, because there's a good stack of units down there. Poor innocent dwarves. They're busy digging too greedily. Yeah. Well, they. that's right. They should be looking, they should be looking at what's happening around them, not digging. Right, can we get another spy? Should we get another? Did I only build? I only build one. That's right. I gotta build another one. One more. Okay. Now we're starting to get. We're starting to get some units. We're starting to get some units on board here. Uh, now I want to leave enough to. Def well, we could strike here. Take out the faction leader. Now they did. They rejected the ring, which means they don't get their custom general, the Grimborn general, which is excellent for us because that's a custom general we don't have to take down. I wonder if I don't, they I'm, maybe they're fighting like they must be fighting Angmar right now. I'm not seeing a lot of their units. Uh, where are we? Okay, so they're at war with Angmar. I'm just I'm just not seeing. A lot of troops here. I, I kind of see a, a weak, a weak settlement. I kind of want to wait. Oh, 
One more round of units is a lot, isn't it? Ten more turns. I guess we get the archers here. I want to get the, the, the traits. When we have the traits, we'll go. That's the go time. Shouldn't take that many turns to get them. If they're not suspecting we're going to do anything, they're, they're not, they're really not defending their border. Normally when you're neutral with us, like you're not allied with a, with an AI, even if you're trading with them, they normally kind of defend their border with, with some units. The dwarves have got nothing in their capital. By the end of the campaign, you want to see those red and black Gondor boys? They for sure have one stack probably besieging some rebel settlement. Yeah. Yeah. Or they could just be already attacking Angmar. Like we, are, we are 37 turns in the campaign because we, we took, what, like 18 turns Without to question. to Tomorrow's travel up here, right? So out. we're only effectively 18 turns into our campaign, but everyone else is 37. Okay, Mythlon got the founds. Good. So what do we want here next? We want more military. So we want to go Warlords Hold. Yep. How long got the fountains? This is Eco. So we want, we were going growth here, weren't we? Growth. And I want to raise them to high taxes. Yeah. Um, growth. Warlord. I want the fountain so we can get it, uh, get that guy on him. Retrain that one. We get both of those. That's, that's lots of troops. At the start, the AI hunts those rebel settlements with a passion. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, they do. Just it depends on, I think the uh, Northern Dunedain are up here, like Northern Dunedain I've already taken here. Which means, I don't know if Barquetta's maybe taken by the Northern Dunedain as well. Which means that the Northern Dunedain are vying for the settlements up here as well. So that means that Angmar and uh, Ered Luan are going to get pushed into conflict faster than they usually would. Is, is what I was thinking. So let's save a little bit of money here. Um, one, two, three, four. My lord. Are they more expensive? 270? Yeah, they are. Them 280. My lord. 280. So. Will, my lord. My lord. One, two, Your three, will, my lord. four. My lord. Really less? Oh, they're the same. So could you four lads just jump in here and just for the sake of saving some money, jump into Your there. Will, okay, and then you got the boat there ready to back ready. across. Yeah, just, just, just keep the eco rolling. And we got to keep an eye on our traits. We want to get the Apothecary trait on our Custom Generals. At least on the one in Forlond. Mythlon's not so bad because so I think we're probably leaving him there for a little bit. on attack what's the apothecary do troop recovery yeah it's the it's the fountain uh where is it this guy has it so it gives plus one hit point plus one fertility and six percent casualties re recovering so it's very very good um like it's a it's it's a it's just a very good all-round um retinue to have and i think they get battle surgeons as well potentially so this guy's got that plus hit point and five percent casualties recovering from battle surgeons I think they get battle surgeons from being in a, a city with public fountains as well. Um, I think. Well, 
Black Numenorean Bog. Okay, so how many. Mazor. That's this guy. How many spaces he got left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, he's full. Hang on. Hold up. What can you take? A trident? Okay. okay so you need to palm off some of your things. Um. I mean, that's not going to do you any good because you're already. Not that I want to give it to this guy. Just hang on to it for now. Um, Old King's Banner. So you got vib Vibranium. Vib <laughs> Is it Vibranium? <laughs> where where we're Conda now? Um, no, Varanium. Uh, sure, give that to him. And Architect. Is he got Architect? No, give it. Give it an Architect. Righto. Okay, so then he's got space to get the um, the retinue still. Yeah, that's good. Devastation is going to be a problem with AA. More looting traits equals devastation. More devastation. Ah, oh, well. It's whatever. It is what it is. A little bit thematic, you know. We're gonna carve up the land. We are, we are pirates. Ah, after all. <laughs> uh. Are you on Dunland? Now, Dunland, you currently hold Tharbad, which I can tell you, if you hold Tharbad, when we get there we will kill you okay so my suggestion is somewhere between now and when we arrive lose tharbad to one of your enemies okay yes my lord that's that's the yes. suggestion you have a proposition for us you hold us very a well what else do you have to suggest seems like a most until we meet again keep going Heading down. Actually, maybe head a little bit this way. You As might you might get the goblins. I shall continue tomorrow. Yeah, this seems like it's like oh, a little bits of gold, but all the little bits of gold we can get. It's the money is going to disappear. Yeah, we're almost got as many units as we can get up here now. Oh yeah, more corsairs. Grab them. Yeah, seventy percent. Okay, so we've got this over here now, so he can start getting traits. We want more military, uh, so warlords, yeah, warlords hold. How's the culture going? Yeah, 54%, nice. So that should allow us to get maybe a next tier of... What do we actually need for the next tier? We need a Great Hall. So that's the one after that. So we need a Great Hall. Right. Is that for both of them? Great Hall. Yeah, so both require Great Hall. So we need we need a Great Hall. We need two two more tiers. Um, looking. There's a general in there. How are you going with your traits? Have you got too many? No, you still you still have space. Yeah, so um I I didn't realize this, but we can't actually recruit generals. Like I guess every other faction can. It's just a downside of the the horde start, I'm guessing. So you can't recruit generals. So that means it's really really important that we keep our family tree alive. Don't let generals die off. Um, because we need to, we need that family tree to come through with the goods. I mean, because across a campaign, when you you're able to recruit a general, what every twenty odd turns, so something like that. So that's an extra five generals every hundred turns or so. That that's a decent chunk. With sixty regions, you'll more or less reunite Ariador. If you take Umbar, you can recruit generals. Ah, 
Right. Well, I guess that makes sense. Um, I guess that makes sense. I guess it has to be tied to a particular settlement. And that and that settlement is Umbar. Yeah, okay. I'm um, I'm with it. I'm with it. Yes. Without question. Take Umbar every time you need your general sack it and then let it not let it ride again. Um. I I don't think the time would time the the time would reset on the I think the time would reset on the general every time. We need to need to hold on to it so you can keep that going. More units. Yep. More units. Keep them coming. Anything we can recruit right now. We are maximum troop recruitment. Warlords hold. Okay, next tier. Great hall. Go. Anything. Hey, this is our eco settlement though. Okay, so that's got 75% public order. Okay, let's go more growth. We didn't get our traits. I don't think we did, did we? No. Yeah, we, we want those traits. He doesn't have Night Fighter. Does this guy have Night Fighter? Oh, he does. Why can't I not look at that? He has Night Fighter. What about this lad? Does he have Night Fighter? He does too. He still hasn't got the trait either. What's going on? I got the I got the fountain here. I got the fountain. Give me the give me the trait. Stop screwing me around. I mean, I'm building units while we're waiting, but <laughs> screw me around. Uh, is this spy? We had a spy over here, didn't we? Yeah. I recruit another spy. Okay. You adopt generals through battles. Your troops are good enough to go against more troops. Yeah. I'll go on my screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll get generals. We'll get generals. I, uh... It is just one way to try and keep ahead of the curve a little bit with the, uh, being able to recruit them. Bogdor's leader is dead, Hornberg sieged, Edoras siege, Fornos assaulted? No! No one assaults Fornos! They've had two units in there! No! We want them to rebuild it. I mean, we can rebuild that one, so that's not so bad. But, um, still. Hold up! Hold up! What have we here? What have we here? You guys got sick and tired of watching me make a bunch of money off you. That's a suspicious number of troops. Yeah, and they're suspiciously walking through my territory. Okay, you fellas, I don't care about the money that much. I care more about the troops. Come back here. Yeah. Oh, we're one turn away there. So, what I like, if we have to hold at Mythlon, that's fine. We can transport, we don't need all those troops there. We can transfer some across. Um, I just want the traits on these generals. That's all I want. Give me the traits. I mean, this guy has it, so we could send him with the army. We probably don't need to send this guy yet. Uh, so we're going to get two here next turn. And then we can probably... You know, I might just send some of these, honestly. Send all these Corsairs. I don't need all of them. Just leave the, the better units behind to defend. Um, so let's send these Corsairs up. They can go to war. This this is plenty to defend against anything Bree's going to send at me. Pathetic little Bree. Uh, so send them over. They can join up with this. And we're going we're to send an army up. We're going to make an army. Send these across. They can all the way around. Actually, I might even just send one boat. Let's see. Should talk, should talk to Edward. Suspiciously heading towards the capital. Two more turns for traits. Is there a set number of turns? I feel like you get them sometimes inside. Like, you just get them sometimes immediately. And sometimes they take a little longer. Like, it's just a random roll. 
Like it, it might be guaranteed after a certain number of turns. A general needs at least four turns in a settlement with the healing building. Okay. At least four. Edoras has fallen. Fornost has fallen. Who took it? Surely it's Angmar, right? Yeah. That's fine. That's okay. This is the one we want to hold. In fact, if anything, that's good because that means they'll fortify this even more. Because um, this is the one we need We need the Dunedain to hold. So they rebuild it and make it nice and pretty for us. So, guys. I mean, you're being a little obvious. You're being a little obvious. Let's As go. Cross we oak. You two. You two. I can retrain them. The mercenaries must be available again. Um, right. Warlords hold. Okay, yeah, next hit. Great haul. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Yes, my what is it them trade. Oh, I should have asked How for money there. We refuse another proposition. We're happy to listen. It's good to see. That's it. Yeah, we still make a bunch of money out of that. You come down Tomorrow's south, we'll talk to Isengard. Impossible. Ships ready. Yeah. I mean, there, there's no way they're getting into this. We got plenty of archers. We got some infantry to hold the line. This is not. This is not their best day to go for that sort of attack. We must make a stand. Yeah, they're we coming. Bria probably now they're landlocked. They've taken uh, Basradum. As long as they take, don't take Dolvorn. Because then they can go for other settlements. My non-military settlement. My eco-settlement. My soft underbelly. Righto, lads. I mean, I surely... I, I don't think I have enough troops there that they won't want to attack. So they might siege for a couple of turns and come in. That's the other thing. I, re I moved all those Corsairs out because it's just high numbers. Um, and uh, even though the Corsairs could have defended... Equally, well, not equally well, but pretty decently. Um, now, because there's a low number of troops here, they're like, oh, we can, we can attack. We can do that. A little bit sad I didn't get that structure built, though, because I'm missing out a, on a unit of free upkeep. Okay, here we come. Keep it coming. Hey, may as well come around here. Okay, they're all retrained. War between Breland and us. Still, still no trait. The next turn, although it might go on this other guy, Ben. Ben. What's he doing, Ben? We'll send the spy up as well when we go. We're starting to get some more troops here now. We may have waited too long. Oh, we. Oh, we just have to siege, maybe. Or they might move out. I, mean, I think we've we've beelined units pretty quickly. I mean, a lot of our units are trash. Yes, my lord. Yes, as you wish. Jaws will probably start shifting troops now that Bree attacked you. Yeah. Oh, they came straight in. Look at that. Very nice, Captain. Oh, there's no general in there. Captain Robbie, sell swords. Um, but yeah, shit. Yeah. Typical Bree. <laughs> Typical early game Bree army. Oh, look at this. Look at this army, right? Look at this absolute hodgepodge mess. Hot mess of an army. And then, and there's like, look at this professional, professional, um, uniformed army. All, all looking the same. Attack! There are some some there are some stone throwing hobbits, so you gotta be careful. Yeah, they should just run in. Welcome in, Spock Mania. How you going, mate? Happy birthday. I assume I'm catching the tail end for you, but saw you were still on, so I had to poke my head in. Yeah, we won't be on for too much longer tonight. We are we are at the tail end of of tonight's stream, definitely. 
thank you for dropping in. Ah, oh, they came at this this corner as well. This is the <laughs> uh, it's probably the worst place for him to attack. So, um, what do they have? So now, this hill is deceptive. You'd think you can get them. You can't actually get your archers right up to the edge here. This end you kind of can, a little bit. So just stand here. Crossbows only have the best line, but you can't actually get them like up here. It'd be really nice if you could get them actually up here, but you can't. It's all obstructed. Um, like the closest you can get to is about here. So I'll probably put another one here just to see, see what we can do. And then these two. So I can't get up on this hill either, can I? Can I get up here? No. Can I get up on this bridge? I don't think so. No. Uh, so that'll probably just fire up at the up the walls. So if we have like two little. We are ready to strike. Show us. Okay, here you can fire up at the walls. Hold fire. Hold fire. Come back to here. Actually, you're gonna you're gonna hold here. If anything makes it through, that's that's your job. Yeah, okay, they'll sort you out in a moment. I love how the Bree armies in the campaign map have such an unprofessional looking uniform with the little bowl hats. Yeah, it's great. It's a pretty late one for you, yeah. Normally I catch you right before I fall asleep, and it's now a little later into when I wake up when I wake up time. Um depends. If it's an afternoon stream, like a weekend stream for me, or a or a weekday stream. Or a weekday stream. Would be too OP for the player? No, but that's great. It's meant to be OP. You meant to have OP spots. Right, so Halberd's on the deck. Um, down here. Kind of tempted to just let them come up so we can shoot them. Because I don't have that much infantry. So if we kind of just do. I should make a bit of a line here. Azazaya. Azazaya. Uh, yeah, kind of just let them come down. These two towers will fire, but because it's the Elven Settlement, they, um, the Gatehouse ones won't. Because, you know, Elven Settlement. We are the Kingsmen. The Kingsmen. Okay, so can you get a little closer? You can kind of get to here. Uh, where can you get to? Like... Kind of just to there. It's about as it's about as, that's as far as I can get you to like there. Yeah, I can't get you any further, and I can nothing. That, that's below the hill there, so that was not going to do anything. So what's your line side there? Their heads. Yeah, it's not too bad. So if you get along here, it would make sense. Like there are a fair few settlements where you can sort of set up along an area like this. Like Carandross is is the is the example that comes straight to mind. You've got a perfectly lovely hill, and you can stand all along it, um, and just, just roll anything that comes in. You guys go on defensive, actually. The enemy have ladders at the walls. Repel the attackers. Give them steel. Yes, set up. Okay, it's burning. Nope. Okay, taking. All the archers right now. Cush. Shoot. The enemy are battering down our gates. At this guy's right here. Our cunning foe has reached our walls with their siege tower. We must repel them. Give him some. Give him some hate. Hold fire. Hold fire on those. We look over this way now. You two. The walls are no glass, their eyes. The enemy's ram In you is come, lads. Gate. In you come. Fire here. Mesh of militia. Don't bother with that. Fire in here. The battle is very much in our Farm and pikes. Victory will be ours. Militia, shoot in the back, shoot anything in the back. These ones here. Okay. 
Okay, same with you guys here. Can you fire into the back? Just slow things down a little bit. Fire into the back. That kind of breaking through there a little bit. Can you come over? These, if these orbits, if these orbits, I'm shooting them in the in the hallway. Uh, can what's your line of sight on these these bikes here? Can you shoot them? I don't think so. No, you're not going to shoot them. Keep shooting over here. Um, you might be able to hit these these merchant militia. Yeah, I mean, if you just have them a little further forward, it would be perfect. Oh, it's, it's just juicy to think about. I don't think they're actually... See, so they're just... See how are they firing? Some of them are firing, some are hitting the hill, and some are arcing their shots. So, it's like, just not quite enough. Yeah, you two, uh, hold fire, hold fire. Best spot for any of you. Like if I had you up here, would that be any better? No, not really. Kind of in the best spot I can get for you there. Unless I had you, like, one of you kind of tucked in here to fire in the flank. How's your angle on this lad here? These merchant militias. What can you do to that? Can you, can you get some work done there? A little bit. No, but mainly arcing shots. Shoot for this. Dwarven Travelers, you can actually get a free line of sight onto that. Oh yeah, here we go. That, that's the shot you want. Ah, see, most of them are shooting into the... They're not... They're shooting into there. Hit these, hit these Dwarven Travelers over here. That's, that's where you want to shoot at. Crossbows, line up those Dwarves. Line them up. Yes! Yes, that's the angle. That's it. If we had a couple more units here, you could have one up on the wall on each side, just hold them on the wall and then just pin cushion them with the with the archers from up here. Pretty good. Hold fire, hold fire, hold fire, hold fire. Hold fire. Hold fire. You guys want to shoot the um, shoot dogs? Let's come up in. Units march. Units march. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be tidings. The enemy general lies okay. dead. This should do the job. How they going? Eighty-five percent. Perfect. All right. Get these guys here. Shoot. I'm surprised Merchant Militia are still fighting. Like, their morale is normally pretty low, particularly after a general goes down. Although, do they have another general out here? Is this another one, or is that just a... a Bandablas Archer? Oh, far. Oh, you may, as, you may as well shoot those guys there. May as well. There a couple there. Really? Are we really struggling to route this unit? We're just kidding. Let's go. Let's go, fellas. Send in the general. Send in the goods. Oh yeah, I mean, and then and then you and then you come up 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 against this, right? Like, like you've been you've been slogging through, and then you look up, you you lift your eyes to the merchant militia, and you see this, like, 
Like you see this. This is your view. Like you, ha you gave yourself a chance. Then you see some guys speckled, speckled in gold. The crescent looking shields. There's no way you're getting out of that. Afraid I'm heading off. Have to bounce. Uh, hope you have a fantastic rainy birthday and look forward to catching at the end of one of your weekend streams. Time differences, yeah. Little Scotcho, will do, mate. Uh, have a great day. Right, so what do we got? They, the merchant militia are broken. Righto, let's go. Let's push out into the Band of Bruss archers. Hey, Band of Bruss. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Give it to them, lads. They got nothing. Behold how our now, was that a general? Is my question. It's time to press the oh. attack. Uh, Right. Well, if he was, he got away. Very nice. So the archers all pretty much lived. Infantry went down. We'll probably get some healing. The enemy are utterly vanquished. The halberds, warriors, yeah, not too bad. Only the mightiest of generals. Halberds, three hundred two, two seventy eight. Yeah, resident footman. I mean, forty eight. There's a bit. There's a bit of friendly fire there. Um, <laughs> probably didn't help that much. But, um, yeah, Resident Footman, they just don't have the punching power. But the Archers did get a bunch of kills, so it's, it's kind of worth in the end. I haven't looked to see if they get an armor upgrade, the, the Elites. I wouldn't assume they would tier 5. I don't think tier 5 would be enough to give them an armor upgrade. Maybe they might. Maybe they get one one tier of it. The R9 plate, perhaps. We can pick up that little army there. Um, that'll be nothing. Yeah, Moria is going to struggle. Uh, the, that elven army is probably pretty close to getting over there now. The the spawn stack. So, Edoras reclaimed as well. Lothlorien got lost and reclaimed. Edoras got lost and reclaimed. That's pretty remarkable. You know, Isengard, where are we at? Down yes, here. my lord. Yes. Here we go, Mr. Isengard. Give Is us some money. Fade rights, sure. Your plan, something else you'd like to suggest? I think they get one tier. I'll have a look. I have to have a look. Thank you. I should have died. As you Keep going over to Rohan. Stopping here. Your order, I mean, my uh, Just stand out here for a sec. Yeah, they do. They are nine plates. So, 69. So, they get one one upgrade. That's good. That's good. It's rare that I see you in live super run with Gundabad. Uh, yeah, Super King. Appreciate it, mate. It was, it was, a, it was a fun fun campaign. Really, really loved it. Um, and I'm glad uh, I'm glad some of the other people enjoyed, enjoyed as well. It was a really good one. Um... And now we are here with the Aradonaim. Get over here. Alright, all of you are heading north. Up you go. Man, it's just Corsair. Can I can I kill dwarves with Corsairs? I don't think so. I mean, I think we need I think we need some other units that aren't Corsairs, right? Oh, there's no one in there again. There's no one in there again. They moved him out. Perhaps you seek a diplomat. We just got to we just got to siege it while there's no one in there because they're gonna get they're gonna get uh, spawned in units. So let's send 
the best we got here. They can all go. These fellas as well. And then one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four from here. And I want, I feel like I need some more infantry. A couple of Look, we'll say lads. You fellas, jump in as well. You got the trait yet. No. Give me my trait. Have you got it? Ah, man. It's like fishing here right now. My record with fishing is not very good. How does... That as good as my fish record with being that trait. They're moving up, so that'll be where we go next time. Um, I think that's about where we're going to call it for uh, for today, for the first video, first episode in this new series of uh, with the R Uh I think we've done quite well for ourselves. We've taken the the Elven order, um, and then next time we're going to push up and attack the Dwarves and go try and take their their key settlements here. If we can get their three their three core settlements here, just you and come out from under the nose, maybe even take this one as well. Uh, that that'll that'll be really really good. I'll be very happy with that. The Oskolon hasn't fallen yet either. Hmm. So uh, this is the first episode of the series. So please do like, subscribe, share, comment, um, and uh, I'll see you in the next next video. Have a good one.